This is it, the final qualifier top eight. We get one more competitor here to join the crazy top eight we already have set for this tournament. If you guys been following Champions of the Realms throughout the week, then you know the chaos that's been going down. The finale is happening December 29th. Mark it down in your calendar, 6 p.m. Eastern time zone. Also, I wanna give the biggest shout outs to Flossie Carter, sponsoring each and every week with a prize pool for the first place winner. And also thank all of you for the love and support. I hope you all have a great holiday. Holiday, spend lots of times with the family. Let's get into this action. It all started when Kaboom said this toy of fear and the alliance. They sought the most powerful beings across all the realms. But only one can be crowned the champion of the realms. <laughs> Destroyer, this is it. The final top eight before we round out all eight qualifying members of our Champions of the Realms finale. This is it. This is going to be insane. I cannot wait to see what it's going to be like tonight. We got some killers in the top eight. Oh, yeah. Destroyer, how you doing? How's it looking? I'm doing great. I mean, if we take a look at this bracket here, it is a brutal one this week, Caboose. And for the final week, I wouldn't want it any other way. We got Hourglass of Rain going up against Get Wrecked, yo. Walter White, yo. yo. Skylar White, yo. Yo. Then we have Dragon versus Bandinos. That's happening in the winner side. And in the lower side, we have Dialogue, the Shao Kahn Master, going up against Young Monster 12, AKA Young Lad Switch 12, AKA Young. <laughs> I'm your Alpha 12. You know who I'm, who I'm sad to not see actually make the top eight is uh, speaking of the, the, the younglings, freaking uh, Young Chiquello. Yeah, you know what happened? You young, know? young Chiquello actually hit me up around 3 p.m. the day of the, the week's uh, eight. And at that point, the brackets were already set. Everything was already set. Ah, and damn. unfortunately, he didn't sign up on time. And that's why it's important. When season two starts, if you guys want a shot at this massive finale prize pool, sign up for the tournament before it's too late. But the invites boost. have been sent. I was just about to say, let's get those invites out and get this yep. first match started, which is gonna be our glass of rain, yo, versus get wrecked. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. I can't believe it. Our prize pool now over $5,000. So much on the line. Yo. I, I just, I don't even know what to expect tonight, Destroyer, because this is going to be a bloodbath. I know we say that almost every week, but this week especially, being the final week, everybody is going to be duking it out. There's only one more spot to be able to round out our top eight. The finale is going to be going down on December 29th. And that is where you're going to see eight weeks worth of competition come to a head. But right now, we got our first match of the night between our glass of rain and Get Wrecked. Yo, Get Wrecked is somebody we've seen quite a bit in Champions of the Realms. Our glass of rain as well has made it quite a few times. And both of these guys being on the winner's side of the bracket puts them in such a good position. But now, by the end of this set, Somebody's going down to the losers, and somebody is going to end up in that winner's final spot. Let's see what happens. Game one about to be underway. Both these competitors figuring out which stage they want to pick. Hourglass of Rain is not sure. He's just sitting there, hovering on a stage select. Destroyer, the hype is real. No, the hype is super real, man. And let me tell you, <laughs> uh, get wrecked. I think so far he's been displaying a, a really textbook, super strong Johnny Cage, man. He goes with the Johnny Lau, and... 
His pressure is serious. And I feel like we're going to be seeing some serious pressure in the next couple seconds here. Let's get this started. Match number one, final qualifier top eight. Get hype. Where's Yo. the whale emotes? Yo. <laughs> I feel like every time Get Right is playing this entire tournament, you gotta end every sentence with yo. Listen, yo. Right now, Molina's trying to hit him with the neutral. Yo. Goes with the low size. Yo. Skylar White. Yo. I love seeing the Destroyer Whale emotes in the chat. Good throw there from Get Right. Keeping Hourglass of Rain in the corner right now, Destroyer. Oh, tries to go with a down poke, but Get Wrecked not getting out of his face for nothing. He said, you got that brass pack? Let me give you that beat down pack. Lost My frames. goodness. Well, just actually not, not a lost frames. Press a single button right now. Hourglass of Rain just got chipped to death. That was disgusting. Really was. Super dominant round for Get Wrecked. Oh, Yo. Nice back dash into the lip punish there from Hourglass of Rain. Getting Get Wrecked to force out the breaker. This is going to put Hourglass oh. in a pretty solid spot. What a flawless block there into the punish destroyer. Yeah, that was disgusting. Tries to go for the overhead, but Get Wrecked not falling for it. Bofa playing Kung Lao cameo. It's going to be a lot of hard to blockable setups at any given moment, so they need to be careful with that. Good throw from our glass of brass pack. Flawless Box, such an interesting mechanic introduced since MK11 because it really changes up the way that you want to play on the defensive. Some strings are punishable if you Flawless Block a certain hit within the string. Yeah, you're not kidding about that. Oh, that's going to be a punish right there. Big punish coming here right now for our glass of rain. At the corner, loses it though. Get wrecked with the fatal blow. This is actually not good for our glass of rain, even though it may seem so with Beautiful the life stuff. lead. And there we go. The overhead to close out the round. Our glass of rain is super smart, man. Every option he's win for so far off of like a poke and plus frames. He's mixing it up pretty darn good. Good block on the instant overhead. Get Wrecked is going to take full advantage. Dishing out a crazy combo. 11 hits, 360. And Get Wrecked has been doing such a good job at utilizing the meter burn shadow kick anytime Hourglass is trying to set up with the Kung Lao. Here we go, though. Hourglass now going to find an opening. The meter burn Meter's fart bomb. Quite a bit of damage. Meter burn with the fart bomb. Looking for the overhead. And there's an opening now for Get Wrecked who could close things out here with just one setup. No, missed the end of that combo. Wait a second, Hourglass with the Fatal Blow Destroyer. This could be bad. Oh my God. Get out of this corner. Needs to avoid the chip that's incoming. Oh, and he there tried it is. to nice Oh no, and they're gonna chip or they're gonna trade on the low hits. The yeah, pressure was just too pizza. much from Johnny Cage. The thing is, Caboose, is once the character gets on top of you, if you go to counter poke, you need to commit to it because Johnny's frames are so quick. He's going to just steal his turn again and put you right back in that plus oh. frame blender. And remember, oh. let's not leave the king of the hill. Oh. We could just we can just invite the next players. Really? It's not broken no more. Really? All right, you want me to power bomb you? Is that what you want me to do? Hey, listen, I got <laughs> I got Randy Orton in the studio today, so don't play with me. Oh, my bad, my bad. Uh, why did I agree to let your film crew in the past? Because deep down, you know. Here we go now, Destroyer, into game two. Get Wrecked doing a solid job in that first game, but it was still relatively close. Hourglass not out of this just yet. Get Wrecked technically gets the first hit there. Having the meter, nice punish there from Hourglass of Rain. Get Wrecked mistiming the Lao cameo. Okay. He's trying to close the distance here. Wants to get in range to throw out that forward three or that, what is it, forward one? Oh, there Shadow it is. Pick. That is just such a F neutral tool right there, Caboose. The hit stun that Shadow Kicks gives him, I think it makes the, the Lao have plus. I'm not even trolling. Damn, really, really tough to deal with. No doubt about that. Okay, there, there we go. Is. Into the hit stun. This is going to hurt a lot. Not going to be the end of the round just yet, but the chip out there from Get Wrecked. Yo, Walter White. Yo, Skylar White. Yo. Shao Kahn. Yo. Yo. Kind of just backing Ooh, off here. Jump into the throw, but the neutral duck nicely done there from Get Wrecked. All right. Can somebody in the chat tell me what is the OS on that neutral duck tech? How does everybody duck my throws? 
sometimes. These guys are just gods. They know when to respect Oh, there's like an OS where you gotta do something where the, you know, the Dosey do and the Dr. Doolittle. Yeah, okay. Get wrecked right now, though. Just pressuring like crazy. We're gonna close this game out right here, Destroyer. What a massive oh my God. life lead. Oh my god, that's gonna be the start to a massive comeback here if Hourglass or Rain can pull it off. My goodness, every time he calls in that Kung Lao cameo, that Meter Burn Shadow Kick is sent out immediately. Get wrecked with some incredible reactions here, Destroyer, doing a very good job at shutting down any pressure that Hourglass of Rain no is hoping to pick up on. doubt about that, man. Right now, Get Wrecked Yo is looking like one of the stronger players. Every time he's present in Champions of the Realms Caboose, this guy is dominating the, the whole bracket. How many top eights has he made already? I mean, seriously. Yeah, no doubt about it. Get Wrecked has been such a consistent competitor through all eight weeks of competition. I imagine is someone who desperately wants to make that final oh, spot here for the finale. He's desperate. Not that anybody yeah, else here tonight cool. isn't as desperate. I mean, with $5,000 in that prize no. pool, why are we picking the flesh pit? No, trust me. Get Wrecked got him on DMs and he sent me a video of him salivating. This dude is desperate to get in. <laughs> Hey, good pressure. Getting the Johnny shenanigans started off early. How did that trade? Oh I my God. Leave it. Get, get right. Jump free there for Hourglass of Rain. Otherwise, that was going to hurt real bad. I like the fight Hourglass back from Hourglass of Rain. He managed to get out of that corner pretty, pretty juicy. Pretty dully. Okay, here we go now. Hourglass of Rain finally gets the stuff going, Destroyer. This wow. Oh and be the end of the God. round. That's the thing that's so good about Molina is that once she gets an opening, 40% easily. But Get Wrecked has been doing such a good job at not allowing Hourglass an opportunity to get a bit of momentum. Nice Ooh. flawless block there once again. Get Wrecked just pressuring her all the way to the left side of the screen right now. Goes with the 2-1-2. Two, two. Beautiful blocks from Brad's pack. Tries to go with the double low option there. Oh my, oh my goodness. God. These flawless blocks are ridiculous, Destroyer. They really the are. Block. Oh no, the ball roll gets blocked again. No Molina YOLO says Get Wrecked. I mean, Get Wrecked's reactions are pretty insane. To block the Molina ball roll that close to call, the dude is on uh, <laughs> the magic pill. Good throw. He's gonna get a side switch here. Brad Pack hits him with the low low hat. He's trying to utilize that insane Melina down poke range. Holy smokes. Get wrecked with these flawless blocks is unstoppable. 23 seconds left on the clock here, Destroyer, but one fatal blow will be the ultimate equalizer for Hourglass of Rain. Oh my God. Find the opening. Oh my God. And it's two bars a meter for both players. This oh, is getting way too close. He flawless blocked There's it, but the shit. low is going to connect. You love Johnny Cage? I do. Why don't, like you, so why don't you take him out to dinner? I asked him. And what do you say? He said he's busy. He said he's uh, going out with Jimmy Stools. Jimmy Stools? Yeah, right? The throw. He's gonna go in with the forward three, tries to get the rising right uppercut. Good pressure, My man. Goodness. I know you can't push a button. Get wrecked looking to 3 0 Hourglass of Rain. A Coliseum champion. We have spent a majority of this set on the left side of the screen destroyer. Just Johnny Plus Frames all over the place, right? That's what they should change the character's name to Johnny Plus Frames. Okay, nice sweep. I think they just another one. Johnny Stools. Johnny Stools would be nice. That flawless block, that gap has been the worst thing. <laughs> and Hourglass of Rain has had to deal with. Get Wreck was so consistently flawless blocking and then punishing. And that pretty much led to what was now a 3-0. Get Wreck will be moving on to the winner's finals. I mean, what exactly was Hourglass of Rain supposed to do in those situations? Oh, I, I just you gotta feel... start the bracket. Huh? The bracket. You yeah. gotta start the bracket. I can't submit the scores. What do you mean? Stop the music. Stop the music. What are you, a stupid idiot? Hey, hey.
What, do you want me to take you to Stupid hey, Idiot Town? Take me to Stupid Idiot Town. All right, Let's get go. dressed. Get dressed. Pack your stuff. We're going. <laughs> We're going to Stupid Idiot Town. To see you. Get dressed. All right. All right, Just let me... Competitors to leave. Let me get the invites out now for okay, so, the next two competitors. So, look, Dragon wants to send the invites. So, I mean, we're not going to oh. deny it. But did Netherrealm okay. fix that issue, or is that still a persistent issue? Because they got Which, the King of the what? Hills fixed. I feel like the whole ping situation where, uh, you know... I, I'd hope so. I mean, if we're allowed to continuously invite competitors, then that would be great. But if Dragon's oh, wait. <laughs> at the ready and he can send us an invite, then let's let's get it going right now. Yeah. But does he have? I believe Bandino's has a um a different PSN that he's using. Uh, is he? Can you confirm on, in the cord if you can? Yeah, I don't know if he's uh if he's reached out about that. Uh, oh no. Right. Okay. I guess I guess Bandino's got it got it working. Last time he. Last thing he typed in to drop your PSNs is his original PSN. Did uh the dragon? Okay, there's the invite. All I right, and I I got the the bracket started here, so you could uh sure I'll, I'll fill out that score there for get wrecked three zero. Oh, what's the, okay, let me oh invites were set. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, hey, you guys are moving too fast. You need to slow down for me, please. Happy. Wait up, Papi, slow down for me because you guys are moving too fast and I need to do the production, okay? You need to do pro projectiles? I need to do. Oh, hey, mira, Lele, you need to. Oh, hey, mira, mira, you need to see the game. Mira, oh, hey, mira. Mira, but my name is Little Dominican Man. Mira, oh, hey. Nene. Oh, hey, mira, Nene. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey, mira. Oh, hey, mira. Hey, caete la boca, Nene. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Yeah, this goes destroyer. Bandino's against Dragon. Now Bandino's has been super consistent with this reign. Done such a good job with this character, but also Dragon, a veteran to the scene, one of the best NRS competitors, maybe of all time. I think there's not too much argument about that. Oh, definitely sure. not. I mean, super consistent across every single NRS title. Dragon is definitely like a top five player in my book, and a top five all-time player. Oh yeah, you can't really argue that, especially when it comes to Nether Realm games. He's made countless top eights. He's won, I believe, he's won Evo. All right, he sucks. We get it. You know he's terrible. We get it. Four percent there immediately starting things off. Bandino doing a good job keeping Dragon at bay. Got the ice armor loaded, charging up. Flawless blocks, block the overhead, and then there's the throw. Too slow. Good throw. Too slow. Wallet. I need Cabal back in this game. I mean, I honestly feel like unless we don't get Cabal back and Cyrax and Sector, I truly feel like the roster's not complete, you know? I feel like Cyrax those are two Sector super Sector iconic Sector. characters. Cabal to me, man. Because Cabal was my really? homeboy back in UMK3. Yes. Yes, that's really. That's Cabal, Cabal is great, but Cyrax and Sector, I was dying for them to be playable in this game. I know, like, we know all the characters in Combat Pack 1. If there is going to be a Combat Pack 2, man, I would go crazy if they brought them back. Okay, nice throw here from Bandino. He's going to send Dragon into the corner. He's got the life lead here. If he can play it patient, oh, he wow. might be able to take the this round. I'm running out. We have five seconds on the timer here. Caboose! Oh, Dragon not really able to do much there, unfortunately, even though he found that hit. Oh, no. Asha got tired. Yo, that was actually oh, disgusting from Mandino. In order to play that patient against a player like Dragon, you know this guy's in the upper echelon of gaining skill. Oh, that to hurt quite a bit. Oh, nice neutral duck into the punish now from Bandino. Good call out on the throw attempt. Beautiful stuff. What's it going to be? Ends the combo with 306 into a, almost a guaranteed jump in, it seems. Maybe Dragon could have delayed wake up, but probably might have covered that as well. Oh, he is just racking up that damage right now. Looking to go up game number one on Dragon here. Overhead. Shoot! Dragon. Dragon just needs one touch into Fatal to get right back he into does. this. He does. There's a throw. He doesn't even need to use Fatal, I think, at this point. It's the dark energy. Teleporting around. Oh my god. Oh! 
Razor got to punish there to Zer on the throw attempt. Gonna teleport again to the other side. Oh. Get the overhead. Maybe didn't expect to. The ice armor is out. The throw is that He's, enough? I don't think it is. He's gonna have like Just 20 barely. HP. Last breath. Oh, and the chip out. Nah. The chip out. Nah. If he neutral ducked the Tony Serino, nah. he would have been able to sur survive that. Nah, you gotta be kidding. That did not just happen, Caboose. I can't believe no. it. What a comeback there from Dragon. Holy cow, Bandino's almost had that match in the bag, but Dragon with the clutch factor of the demons. Where's Oscar from? She's from yeah. New Mexico. <laughs> yeah. So that's news. Or is she from the Nether Realm? Chat, where's Oscar from? New England. Oh. Wait a minute. Breaker there from Dragon. Pushing Bandino towards the corner now. Yeah, Sonic, oh, Sonic Fox is in the tournament. Just make sure you guys tune in and stay, stay watching. <laughs> Sonic Fox and Ninja Killer in, in this week. So y'all yeah. better, better not click off this uh, matches. Good stuff. Tries to go with the low. Trying to fight his way out of the corner right now. Bandino's. Everything was looking so good for him, but now it is literally tied. Good cross up. Dark energy is activated. Dragon looking to get some more options out of this. He activates the Sub-Zero cameo. It's going to take wow. one of the charge now, which puts Dragon in a pretty good spot. But with that life deficit and the time running out, it's not looking good, Destroyer. Gets the overhead. Oh, again, wasn't oh expecting God. it. If he just followed up on a combo, he's he got the fate of blow. He tried to go with that same mix-up again, but Bandino's calling it out this time and the timer is going to be giving him game number one that might have been one of the longest matches in the history of cotr mk1 i think so that was like two time in that same game i My think goodness. three holy smokes definitely one of the longer games that we have seen but bandinos is going to take that one and go up 1-0 why don't we just give him 3-0 so we don't have to sit here for half an hour with this one set what do you think i think that's a good idea as a matter of fact i'll see you tomorrow all right, have a good one. Who do you want for McDonald's? Yeah. You always going to McDonald's, man. You, you don't want to go anywhere else to eat? What do you want? God. What do you want, then? Demon in your eyes. Give me uh, three pieces of lettuce. <laughs> chat, what do you want, chat? <laughs> They want the same thing. They I, said, got, I got McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's on me. For everybody in the chat, what y'all want? Let's flush. All right, hold on. Overhead's gonna connect. This is bad news, Bears. Dragon just texted me and said he wants the 10 piece. I'm gonna get that rake out of the way, man. You said rake goes in the game? Someone in the chat says six piece lettuce McNuggets and let your fries. Somebody said brown rice. Oh my god. My boy said the quarter pounder with no onion. Somebody banned him in the chat. Onions suck, man. Somebody banned Caboose from the commentary. <laughs> good throw. Bandino's looking to take the round in game number two. That's not good for Dragon. He needs to bounce back now or things are just going to fall down the hill. Dumpty Dumpty. This is so tough for Dragon, especially considering Wait. the fact that Pandinos has been running the clock. Did he call out the 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 can did he cancel that or what what was that? I thought that thing had like 50 hits of armor. No idea. Good throw, shutting down the ice armor. Very nice. Remember the armor was broken. Wow. Dragon's gonna have to start. <laughs> Uh oh, using an asthma pump here in a second. Has to use the breaker destroyer. Dragon has had a very tough time. And Dino has been like this defensive brick all the time. No, not tech break throws through. everything. This dude, like you said, cannot get opened up whatsoever. Dragon, though, getting a breaker out of him there. Activates the purple sauce. And that sub cameo is such a problem. It eliminates a lot of Dragon's pressure, honestly. If he tries to go full screen and zone with the sword, you can't because of Sub-Zero. If he tries to use the plus frames off of that projectile, you can't because of the Sub-Zero. No. Overhead connects. 
Not looking good. He's going to get a big combo going now. Destroyer and the setup. Oh, was expecting oh, to wake up. He's dead. It's, it's, it's a fatal blow. It's a fatal blow. That's seemingly going to be enough. Dragon just barely had an opportunity there to take a round. But Bantino's again playing so well defensively and was able to open up Dragon for a 50% fatal blow combo. Jesus. My goodness. Nah, Bandino's reign is serious business. And this, this, this team right here is so sick. It synergizes really well, not only in the gameplay department, but with the aesthetics as well. Oh yeah, 100%, 100%. They, they, they're a great pairing. But yeah, this is a good example of sometimes you don't need a character that's going to dish out the most damage. You don't need a character that has the flashiest combos. You just need to be a really good competitor in one specific field. And I think what Bantino's doing best here is not even on the offensive, it's on the defensive. He knows when to pull back, when to zone it out, activating the ice armor, and pretty much stopping Dragon from using any sort of projectiles and playing full screen play at all. You see, and I love this type of stuff too, Caboose, because you get a player using rain like this, it just shuts everyone up that has to like downplay these type of characters, you know? I feel like right now with Mortal Kombat 1, every character is competitive ready. You just need to get the sauce and get the tools down packed. There's something there for everyone. I mean, even so many people are downplaying a character like Omni-Man. We were seeing non-stop oh my Omni God, on the full the, play. Listen, I'll tell you what. The Viltrum army literally came uh, on a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, 100%, man. I mean, the Viltrum, the Viltrum army is unstoppable. There we go. Winning trade. Well, not even really a trade action. Bandino just gets the hit in. Dark energy is activated for Dragon. Back against the wall. Bandino's up 2-0 right now. The throw is going to connect, and now it's a match point. Destroyer Bandino's with an opportunity to send Dragon into the loser's bracket and then also move on to the winner's final. Are you still here? No, I'm lying. Are you still here? What, what do you think? think? What do you think? You think oh I'm serious? Or I'm lying. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, chat. Idiot. Great tech there once again from Bandino's. You cannot get a hit on this guy. All right, wait a second. Dragon, we've seen situations like this before. He can definitely make the comeback, Caboose. It is going to be a Mount Olympus to climb, but if there's anybody can, that can do it in this tournament bracket right now, it's definitely going to be Dragon. He's a seasoned two sticks of butter now, y'all. Veteran in this game. 100% Dragon has been in positions like this many times before. Sure, he can make the comeback. There's the overhead landing once again for Bandino. The force breaker there from Dragon. Watching that oh, overhead. No, confirm. no situations like that. We've seen a couple of times throughout this set where Dragon wasn't Wait. able to get the hit confirm, but now able to get a good combo. Get a breaker. Forcing Bandino's the breaker. What's super scary about this situation is Bandino just needs one good touch into Fatal Blow, and it's going to be all over. Dragon just needs to play Bandino's at his own game and let that clock run out. Make sure that he doesn't make any mistakes right now. Play as clean as possible. Good reaction on the overhead attempt. Watch the low as well. Gets caught. No. Oh no. Ten do, seconds left a, to throw. He get a combo. This That's is gonna, gonna, gonna make close the life lead. Oh my goodness. And there it is. The sweep. Dragon stays alive by a hair. Bro, my heart is literally coming out of my butt right now. <laughs> gotta go to the <laughs> okay, here we go, Dragon. Now finding his footing. Okay. He's gonna activate the oh, ice armor oh. again. Wait a second. Bandinos. Now uh, more Bandino. ice armor, and just for that situation right there, he does not want to deal with any plus frames from Oscar. You gotta respect it. Dragon though can actually smell the end of the game. It really can. Do a ton of damage. And I feel like Caboose, if this dude takes just one on the board, that's all he needs for that motivation. Hundred percent destroyer. And he knows though. Now gonna do a bit of what he's been doing best in the last two games, oh. but with the dark energy. And just as that Sub-Zero Ice Armor runs out, Dragon drops that low projectile, taking this game. Now has a game on the board. It's not gonna be a 3-0 for Bandinos. You said you wanna be a Bandito in the next life? Uh, you know, I was. That's what, that's what I was hoping. 
So you want, so you want him to star you in the next Red Dead Redemption? I mean, that would be incredible. So you want to be the next Arthur Morgan? Yeah. So you basically want tuberculosis? If you were to die, your soul I know where it's going, demon. Basically, yeah. All right. Sign the, sign the contract, guys. He's in. Go now, Destroyer. It's a game four. Like you said, Dragon getting a game on the board. I would be a little nervous if I was Bandino. Top NRS competitor. Bandino's, though, I mean, his strategy seemingly is to just get that life lead and then chip away. Just back it up and chip away. Yeah, you're right about that. Throws. Good throw. Gonna turn this into a watery situation. About 110 damage on the dot. Catches oh, him with man. another throw. Throw damage is adding up, Destroyer. Yeah, that's like 220 right off the bat. Again. Another one. And they're all back throws. He is mixing him up. Dragons went with the forward throw tech twice already. And that was not the right read. Okay, there we go. Dragon's going to get an opening now. Finding something. Okay, gets out of the opportunity to get punished. Summer's activated. Bro, Bandino's, gonna connect for Dragon. Bandino's is so good at stealing his turn. Oh, that could have been a massive punish. punish right there. Fox running out, though. Again, Destroyer and Bandino's has quite a life lead. He gets open up. Breakers immediately. Oh my God. Smart idea. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. Summer's activated. Oh, no. Oh, gets popped in the overhead. Dragon is out of control. He's got the life lead, but he's still going to get oh, aggressive. the overhead. No, he goes for the fatal blow. And it's going to land. Bandino's with one second on the clock steals no. the round. You got to be kidding. No way. You got to be kidding no me. No way. One second on the clock. No way. I thought between the frame animation of the fatal blow connecting, the one second was going to go to zero. Bro, what just happened? Bandino's oh, trying to close this out right now. Dragon fighting for his life. He said, Dragon Tail, Dragon Tail. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened, Destroyer. That is a morale killer. This is true Dragon Tails right here, Caboose. Catch him with the down poke. Good blocks on the water staff. Oh, oh nice my god. Here. He dropped the combo. The nerves are all over the place no. right now. That's yeah, not looking good, Destroyer. Bandino's just evening out the life bars right now. Went for the overhead. Good and, block from and Dragon. And notice, Caboose, any chance he gets to activate the ice armor, he goes for it. It's a perfect counter to a team like you Serena to, yeah. Ashra. Right, next dragon forced to hit the breaker right away. And look, that is this, that is ice armor in its own right as well. Oh, that actually hit. Oh, no, but he's going to get a counter here. Drops a combo. These players are playing like a sloppy Joe special. You look nervous. Oh, look at this now. Destroyer Fantino getting a huge combo into the ice armor. 16 seconds left. Dragon needs a hit. He needs to find something. The throw will connect. 10 seconds. Serena? 10 seconds. Oh, no. Good flawless blocking. Get the throw! Is it enough? I don't think so. He the life bar! Oh, Dragon! Dragon with one second himself! What, what is happening? Is this what match? is happening? What is this match? Are you kidding me? Oh my god! He goes with the new suit on punish! Is it the Serena confirmed? This is you, Have you Dragon. Have ever seen anything crazier I, in I, your life? I don't think nobody's ever seen two one-second matches back-to-back. Back. Oh my god! Yo! This is the ultimate battle right now. Gets the ice armor. Gonna avoid some plus frames from Ashra. He's gonna get a nasty combo here into the ice freeze. Not gonna go for a heart to block. No, he's gonna go for raw damage into the side switch. I respect this. Good whip punish from Dragon. Forces a breaker. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared myself right now. Destroyer. Mandino's. He gets some hits in. Goes to the full strength oh to get that last hit to connect. Mandino's with a big opening there. Dragon, now Destroyer. Dragon has three bars. He just needs to find a way out of the corner. He needs to get a touch. Blow as well. Oh my god. The next touch he needs to break her. This pressure is ridiculous from Bandino's. Destroyer. Nice from Bandino's every time Dragon tries to go for the overhead. Watch out for the meteor. Oh no! Brings the armor a little bit. 
Wait a second. Oh no, he's not gonna break her. Why would he not break her? Watch out for the chip, and there it is! Turn him there into it is! Head. Bandino's is gonna take that set. Oh, now that 3-1. Bandino's moves him into, on to the winner's finals. He turned him into uh, Mrs. Puff. That was Jesus. one of the craziest matches I've ever witnessed. My God. I mean, that one definitely goes in, down in the history of Champs of the Holy Rums, man. Smoke. Both players giving it their all there. And what? Bandino's is going to emerge victorious. I'm telling you right now, that legit might have been the longest set in the history of Mortal <laughs> Kombat 1. Even, you know, if, if that would have went to wow. a 2-2 two -two situation, this would have been recorded wow. as the longest set in the history of Mortal Kombat 1. Unbelievable I, I, stuff just, we just witnessed. I'm just blown away this story. Back to back, final, the last second, we see both Bandino's and Dragon steal that round incredible performance from both those competitors. You've ever seen anything like that before, chat? I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that in my life. Chat, you've Yo, ever seen a match like that before? Young Monster is I'm your alpha, right? Uh, yes. Okay, all right. We're gonna, I'm gonna send the invites here. And that's actually gonna be time. dropping down. Let me wow. know when you, let me know when you send them. That's gonna yeah, be dropping, them. you sent them? Yeah. Oh wait, we're staying in the lobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Hold on, let me see. What's going on here? So that's actually going to drop Dragon down to Dialogue's path, which is going to be super yes. scary. Yeah, Dialogue now and Young Monster, aka Under Alpha, are going to be playing the next match. Thankfully, thankfully, these King of the Hills are working now. We don't have to leave and start a new King of the Hill every single time. Just right away, just get right into the next match. I mean, to be Dialogue, right with you, uh, everything kind of seems to be running a lot smoother ever since that last so. uh, Christmas update they put out. So yeah, big shout yeah. out to another room fixing their game, man. You'll love to see it. 100%. All right, look at this now. Destroyer immediately into our next match. Now we are on the loser side of the bracket. Dialogue, as you mentioned, back during the pool play on Wednesday. A killer. We saw him perform so well at DreamHack. He did extremely well, obviously, during the pool play. He ended up taking down, I think it was Honeybee. He ended up qualifying into the top eight. And again, only one spot. All of these competitors are going to be fighting for Dylock right now, though, with this corner pressure, using that general Xiao. I'm your alpha. Another Astra, actually. Another Tony Torino. Another Tony Torino. Look at this corner destruction here from Young Ma uh, Monster. Gonna Wait, not over yet. Oh my god, did I just commentate his curse for saying he's going to close it out? Wait a second. No way, Kaboom. He's trying to go with a pixel That's comeback here. Usual. The breaker from Young Monster. Dylock is committed here. He's got no Serena. Oh, oh no. The full screen teleport is going to land. He said, Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. It's me, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Merry Christmas. Merry Krampus. Good pressure good here. Block. That was such a Incredible. quick reaction from Dylock. He's gonna put him in the corner. Goes with the plus frames. Tries to tag him with a down three. That was just plus frames galore. Young Monster had armor out of there. If not, it would have been a dangerous situation. What a conversion from Young Monster. That's gonna be a big punish incoming now though for Dylock. Who's gonna switch sides? Really smart stuff there. Trying to go for the overhead. Got interrupted. It's looking like the end of the game. As long as he goes for the quick fatal blow conversion, there it is. Not enough meter to get the breaker out, unfortunately. Young Monster, I'm your alpha, is gonna take game one. Isn't that one of the worst feelings when you're getting comboed and you're literally like one hit away from fatal uh from your breaker and they fatal blow you? And then it's, you get the fate, you get your breaker when the last hit of the fatal blow hit, and you're yeah. just in there like, wow, iPhone. But it's one of those situations where you wish the character that you're facing off against had one of those two hitting fatal blows, because then you can get the breaker in. But yeah, it's really, really tough to deal with, unfortunately. Young Monster, though, taking game one. Really good stuff there with the Ashra and Tony Serino. And what would be funny, actually, is if Young Monster ends up advancing, he will play against Dragon, and it'll most likely be an Ashra Serino mirror match. What's that? 
You said you want to go to Dang It's Wayne's house and you want to do a food review? I was thinking of the that worst. I was thinking about it. The worst uh, reviewed restaurant in your state. <laughs> See, I was I was hoping we could all do a big collab. You want to do the worst reviewed restaurant in your town? <laughs> yeah. All right. Dang It's Wayne. I'm sending Dang It's Wayne to Canada. Oh, good plus frames on the back too. Go to the block on that Astro Projection. What's the name of that move? I don't, I don't know. I don't know the names of like half the moves. I just call them as they look. <laughs> so what does that look like to you? That looks like a uh, Jimmy Stool. Good combo here. How much damage are we looking at? Goes for a nice overhead. Sweet. Nah, this kid is so dope. If you actually put like a, a brown color palette on it, he kind of looks like uh, like a barbarian or something. I know, he looks a little bit like a Viking. Oh no, another <laughs> fatal blow situation. He was one That's hit away from exactly it. Exactly what happened. He was exactly. one hit away from it. Again. Very, very tough. At least in this scenario, it was just to take the first round rather than it being. Wait, why does it show that he has a pixel of health? Oh, okay. He's still alive. That's a weird. That's a weird bug. <laughs> Okay, catches him with two down back fours. That was a good chunk of life from those two projectiles. And General Chow's combos are so swaggy looking, you know? They're so beefy, huh? Yeah. What would you do if you saw General Chow in your uh, in your lobby? I'd buy him a 10-piece nugget. Sweet and sour sauce or barbecue? I know he's a sweet and sour sauce guy. Oh my god, what a oh, conversion. Geez. Young Monster is two for two with that conversion wow. there. 50%? Why? On two bars? Why did that do so much damage? That's just what Asha can do, I guess. Young Monster gonna go up 2-0 now in this set, and especially with this being the loser side of the bracket. If you lose, you're eliminated from the tournament, and this is the final qualifier destroyer. That's true. That's why I feel like once we start dipping into the lower side of the tournament, the players are really going to be see, uh, feeling it because that's their last life on the line to get into the finale. Unbelievable destroyer. Let's see here, we're about to get into game three real quick. Also, I just want to give a massive shout out to Flossie Carter sponsoring each and every week with a prize pool for the winner. You know, this man is a legend, big time FGC head, Mortal Kombat fan. Big shout out to Flossie Carter. Let's get into this. We got dialogue right now. Trying to find answers here against Young Monster. Will he be able to find them? Oh my God, Caboose, you know what's crazy about this? What's the up? winner of this moves on to fight Dragon. Well, I was just saying, if Young Monster ends up winning this, it's gonna be an Astra Serena mirror match. Wow. You just don't you don't pay attention to what I say. I mean, oh. I'm I'm trying to understand why they picked this stage again. Yeah, you're right. What was wow. that? Yeah, did his did armor get broken or what happened there? That was Ashra doing Ashra things. She's got infinite armor. Wow, destroyer! Somebody, uh, shout out to Oliver Taylor, by the way, by the way, for donating twenty dollars to the Macarino, getting us now to five thousand one hundred dollars. Wow! For our prize pool, we really, That's a really lot of money. That. Five thousand one hundred dollars for the prize pool. Wow! If you wanted to continue to add to that prize pool, I mean, I know it seems far, but if there was somehow, some way, we could see it get to six thousand, that'd be insane. As I'm saying that, though, destroyer, young monster, may just catch this three zero really quick. Dialogue. Not a lot of life. Only a real master destroyer. Oh no, the magic oh, pistol. The wait. Oh, the wait. Oh. Has to. Oh my god, he's not gonna go for it. What is he doing? He gotta go for that fatal blow. You gotta cash out as much damage as possible. So now we see here young monster takes the 3-0, eliminates Dialog from the tournament, and will move on to what will most likely be a mirror match against Dragon. We'll see that go down in just a bit. Great stuff there from Young Monster, a.k.a. I'm your alpha. But yes, as I was saying, Destroyer, if you would like to donate to the Match Arena, just hit exclamation point Match Arena in the chat. And if you have the means to do so, if you'd like to, I mean, it would be insane. If we could see this prize book get to $6,000, I'd lose my mind.
Uh, I'm already losing my mind, kid. I've, uh, you know what? I'm already losing my mind, kid. Uh, all right, you know what? Get this guy out of here. All right. All right, so with that, Dylock unfortunately has been eliminated. We move on to our next match here, Destroyer, between Deadly Rebel and Almighty Red Nose. So Let's check it out. Bites out now. Can you believe that, dude? Five thousand one hundred dollars for the prize pool. Again, thank you very much to Oliver Taylor for the twenty dollars. Thank you to Skeptum, who has donated a total of four thousand two hundred. Double knives with nah. three hundred and seventy dollars. Ralph Meister with two hundred and fifty total. Insane. The dude is definitely a legend. And looking at this bracket right now, we are moving pretty fast here, narrowing down to our. Uh, Top six here. We have Top Siete. Top Siete. We got Red Nose going up against Deadly Rebel next. Deadly Rebel's been killing it with the uh, Omni Man. So let's see if he can continue this, this mayhem. Unbelievable stuff. And Deadly Rebel with the Omni Man, just like you mentioned. Red Nose. Maybe going to go Ashra for a second there. Uh, bro, Sticking Ashra? with the Kenshi. Wow. People sleeping on Ashra. That character is a serious problem in Mortal Kombat 1 right now. Here we go. I like me some thick thighs. I mean thick mustaches. Let's get this popping. Omni-Man going up against Kenshi. Let's see how he handles Sento. That's what I'm really interested in as well, to see what he is going to be able to do against a character like Kenshi. I don't know if I've seen this matchup before. Oh, you've seen it before. Oh, my bad. Starts off with a one, two, two. A one, That's going to be the bane of his existence right there, Destroyer. For Deadly Rebel, he's going to have to know when to advance against the ice armor. All right, I've I like this so play. Far, yeah, got uh, a couple hits in, and Omni then Turk and careful. Deadly Rebel definitely play Omni Man super patient, and I feel like the character is meant to be played like this. You know, he's got a lot of strings that are honestly good for whip punishing. And you just got to play to the character's strength sometimes. But here we go. He's going to get a Sento sandwich right off the rip. How is he going to deal with this? Can he block it all, Caboose? My goodness. Yeah, the Sento sandwich. What do you do? There we go. Reactivates the Sento cameo. Force to breaker. Deadly Rebel. Going to get the hit in. Nice setup there with the Blue Wow hat. That was so good. Something from full screen. Set up again. Ooh. Finds another hit. This oh, he gets a confirmed. Deadly Rebel. This is huge for him. Very good damage. Goes for a jump in. Tries to make it a hard to block. Another jump oh. in. No up block from Red Nose. Yeah. What is happening here? I that didn't land. I thought that was going to be an up block for sure. There's the ice armor. Okay, he Deadly can't Rebel. thunderclap and he can't low Oh, hat. no. Fatal Blow for sure. There wow. it is. That's going to be the round. Deadly Rebel almost had him there, but Red Node was able to get a hit in and immediately activates that Fatal Blow to guarantee the round. Yeah, I mean, he was trying super hard to find that last hit to close it out and take the round, but Red Nose was the first to do it. Getting right back into this. Let's see the adjustments. That forward two is too crazy. And then went for the 2-2 with the Lao hat. So hard to block that destroyer. Went for the grab. Neutral duck from Red Nose. The Sento is out. Is he going to break her? No, he's not. Hold that. This is going to hurt. Definitely got to break her here. Yeah, deactivate the Sento. Yeah, if he didn't break her there, that would have been like 50%. Look at how he throws to recover the Sento. What is Omni-Man supposed to do in this Huge. situation? Stuff there from Deadly Rebel, playing full screen, gets the throw to connect. Oh my god. Has the corner now. Lao Hat is out. Empty jump. Watch out for Sento. It's still there, Destroyer. Okay, he lost it. Stuck in the Sento stance now. Forward pours himself into the corner, oh but he's going to teleport god. right out of there, but a nasty down one to check him. Both of them just slipping away. Oh, that was a ballsy back Three. dash. This is dangerous. Sub Zero with the Lao Hat, but cannot set up with the Lao Hat now. Just deactivating Senso. Goes to the forward four. That was punishable, actually. Oh my that god. That could have been a really huge punish. And this could look like the end. No! Wait. Oh my oh, god, he dropped he it twice! What is happening? He's gonna go with the Deadly Gilly, the Rebel. Gimlet Maker. Deadly oh, Rebel is connect. surviving. He's got a chance to boost one more re can seal the deal. Four oh. two! Wow! This timeline is the overhead actually was the perfect anti-air there. 
unbelievable stuff from Deadly Rebel. Gotta say though, a bit of luck on his side. Red Nose had two opportunities to close that game hey, up, hey, but hey, dropped hey, the combo hey, listen, twice. It's man. That was perfectly calculated by him. Oh, right, right, right. Good down four. Tries to go for the throw by the, the OS. OS. Is the Thunderclap considered a projectile? Like, does it not hit it is, on the It is considered a projectile. Okay, okay. Wow, he thought a stagger was coming, but he let the full string rip. Deadly Rebel has a nice pretty armor. juicy life lead here. He can play that Omni-Man keep away. Oh, that's a big punish, actually. Red Nose wow. watching he's gonna get the hit confirm. This is not looking good, actually. No Deadly Rebel has a chance here to do something, maybe close out this game. Oh, but just as I oh say that, Senko is out. Oh my god. Senko's oh out, breaker's god. available. Good low hat. He just needs one more touch to boost. Again, Deadly Rebel closes out the game. That was a battle. He really had to earn that victory, and he did so. Deadly Rebel taking game one. Man, you'll love to see it. We really got these Omni men out here, bro. The Viltrumites have come to play. I wouldn't want it any other way. Being an Omni main myself, you'll love to see it. Oh, what's that, Caboose? Omni man's the best, I know. Oh, you want to touch his thighs? <laughs> All right, so listen. Uh, there's, a, there's a big war between who would win, Omni man and Homeland. So I want to settle it with the chat, okay? Uh, oh my God. Press one in the chat. If you think Omni Man would beat Homelander, and press two in the chat if you're a stupid idiot. Sento and I are more than meets the eye. I'm glad our chat has a brain. <laughs> if I would have seen twos. Oh no, I spoke too soon. Oh man, it's okay. It's just because I think they're stupid idiot. I spoke too soon. All right, this dude is chopping Sui right now, going crazy with the Sento piece. Oh Beautiful block on the Gibbler Maker. Knows. He's going to make him pay for that. That was two touches into a McDonald's Happy Meal. Dude, you're freaking McDonald's, man. We can't stop you. Okay, but wait a second, Destroyer. Can Deadly Rebel make the comeback of a century right now? No. <laughs> Or sorry, the Miltrum stance grab into the setup. Beautiful stuff there from Deadly Rebel. Utilizing that Kung Lao cameo exceptionally well. Gonna cash out on the damage this time. Into a throw. It's gonna be a back throw though. Red Nose now with a lot of real estate. Oh my god. Good down threes. Good down four. Deadly Rebel has a fat life lead here. Number, the one where he slams the floor and the rocks pop up, that's down four. Down four, all right. Down three is the one where he does like that sideways karate chop. So I'm a stupid idiot. You are a stupid idiot, and I'm sorry to inform you that. I got, don't worry, I got you a therapist right here. He's gonna help you with your stupid idiot syndrome. <laughs> oh, good jump in there for Deadly Rebel, yeah. Oh my god. That's Mighty Wallace Red Nose. There. If he gets that Sento out to lose, I think it might be GG's. Caught the forward four. Just didn't follow up on it. Lao had his out. Oh, doesn't hit actually, weirdly. Wow, good chest bump. Giblet Maker. Giblet! Rebel's gotta be really careful here. Just needs to make every hit count. Throw gonna connect for Red Nose. And there we go. Uh, did he jump over the Lao Hat there with that move? I think crazy. so. Oh, caught the end of that string there. Gets the grab to connect. Time winding down. Meter burns, actually, he gets the Thunderclap before the Ice Armor was activated, so it deactivates the Sub-Zero cameo. That could have been a way bigger punish, oh my God. and this could be the end of the oh game. Oh my God. I believe it will be. No one, way. He just connects his Fatal Blow. Yeah. That is gonna be it. This that is, is we're, definitely We're probably it. looking at a 50% Bombo here. This dude just got caught slipping, and it cost him the Wait. entire game. Wait. Oh, no. No, what? Since when does it scale that much? 377, he must have went with a route that was just not the move. Oh, he's giving him a hard time here with the oh! central piece. That is oh! crazy. He gets it confirmed. No breaker for Red Nose. And that's going to do it. 
I thought it was for sure over. Cameo scales. Oh, that's right. He went. I thought it was for sure cameo. over. I gave Red Nose the game before he even got anything. That's got to be one of the greatest commentators' curses we've ever had here for Champions of the Realms. Deadly Rebel survives the fatal blow and annihilates with that full screen setup. The Lao Hat into the back forward four, bouncing, getting the combo and the brutality finish. Deadly Yo. Rebel now up 2-0. Let me paint a scenario for everybody in the chat. What if you just at home minding your business and Omni-Man busts through your wall? Like, just straight gib giblet makers through your wall. He looks at it and he says, I need to take a massive diarrhea in your toilet. I can feel you stirring the air. You letting him do it? You letting him do it or you gonna tell him no? I'm gonna tell him no. I'm gonna tell him no. I'm gonna say use the thing. Nice punish there, blocking the full and two destroyer red nose Wait, down. did you say you just see? What? Oh my god. What? Why would I say that? I don't know. But he catches him oh, with the uh, Viltrum stand standing <laughs> for. He tried to jump away and got caught by it. God damn. Good oh jump my in this. Great setups here. What's so tough about a setup like that is he goes for the empty jump and then Red Nose, anticipating a jump in, tries to block high, gets caught by the low hat. That just opens him up for a full combo. Deadly Rebel utilizing that cameo so well, like I mentioned, but oh no. Now Red Nose going to get something going here. He has to like go all out right now. Because he doesn't really have Never. much room for error here. Oh, wow hat, and oh, he just no. interrupts. He's gonna have to break her because that was gonna be 35% into Wow hat. Deadly Rebel could have gotten a huge punish as Red Nose was switching stances. I was blocking the full screen projectile. Surprised he hasn't struck Viltrum stance yet. That's right, yeah, he can just there block that. Oh, there what a full screen punish! My god! So you can just straight up dodge it and punish? I didn't realize the recovery on that move was that crazy. The more you know. Oh my god, Red Nose playing is so defensive here. He's got Sento in his face. Oh my god. Wait, it's gonna be a Sento sandwich Rebel. if he recovers, Caboose. Gonna activate that again. GG. Get the Lao Hat. That's definitely the game. And he's gonna guarantee no breaker whatsoever by using the projectile with the Thunderclap. And we're going for a little train ride here, Destroyer, except I guess not. Oh no, my stream crashed. <laughs> <laughs> you got scared, right? You got real scared. I saw your face. Yo, you the, the anticipation oh when he God. froze as he landed there. Oh man. This is such Yo, a they crazy did fatality. Such a good job with this fatality. I know, and you know, oh, I love, I specifically love that outfit that Deadly Rebel's using, the true Viltrum outfit, because yeah. the way he looks when he gets bloodied up, it's brutal. Yeah, really good stuff from Deadly Rebel, eliminating Red Nose, a Kenshi player. This is an Omni-Man that just beat a Kenshi Bro, destroyer. don't sleep on Omni-Man. People gotta don't stop sleep downplaying on this Omni -Man. character. Man, I don't think at... At this point, nobody's downplaying him anymore. We know everybody's Omni downplaying Man him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, at this point, we all know Omni Man in Lao is kind of nutty, for real. Like, you get full screen mix, Caboose. Need I say more? You get full yeah, screen mix. Yeah, no. You want no. me to say it again? No. Now, Destroyer is. You want our me to say it again? Match. Are we are we doing our losers quarterfinals and then the winners finals? Oh, uh, let me see what's happening here. We got, uh, we've got now everybody in the first round has advanced. So in the losers' quarters, we got Dragon and I'm your Alpha, Hourglass of Rain and Deadly Rebel. I think we Rebel, usually run, we, we move to winners' finals here, right? Um, do I, we? I, I think we do. Okay. No? You sure? Now you got me second guessing, bro. Come on. Chad, yeah, do you remember how we you, usually you do this? You don't know how to run a tournament, bro. How do you want to do it? I guess that does it, does it matter? If, yeah, no, because if we get, um, let me see, if Get Wrecked and Bandinos plays, that's going to drop uh, one of them to loser semis. No, that's going to drop one of them to loser's final. Yeah. And then we do Dragon, 
and then we do hourglass of rain and then we but do but then if we do if we do dragon and hourglass of rain does it break up the losers matches a bit because otherwise if we do winners finals now then we do pretty much all of losers after that and one player could have like a full losers run one okay match so then do another. dragon and, and young monster all right so then in that case we gotta i guess dragon's gonna have to invite us uh huh. Yeah, chat is saying losers quarters is normally first. Uh huh. Okay, dragon, dragons in the chat, uh -huh. perfect. Uh huh. So yeah, it'll be dragon against young, or sorry, I'm your alpha, uh -huh. which is young monster, and and we've been mentioning this is probably gonna be a mirror match destroyer destroyer. What do you expect going into this? I expect this? a lot of neutral, a lot of patience. One thing and I a lot do, of Tony Serino and a lot of Tony Serino. One thing though is I could say young monster is a bit more of a aggressive player so we are going to see these two different play styles of ashra kind of collide here and i'm excited for it i want to see what the outcome is going to be whether the more patient seasoned vet or the more aggressive tony serino is gonna is gonna go crazy you know dragon's invite has just been sent out just letting you know don't let me know anything. yo we got a, a golden kappa train what's that about can i get one Yo, shout out to everybody for all the support they've been showing for the stream, all the resubs and subs and the bits that people have been sending. You guys have been incredible as always. Genuinely, we really, really appreciate the support that you showed to Champions of the Realms, both on my channel and Destroyers. And in general, for the tournament, with the prize pool of over $5,000, we just couldn't appreciate everything that you guys have been doing enough. It has been eight weeks of insanity. It's all coming to a head very soon. One more player is going to make that top eight finale by the end of this night. And listen, I hope you're excited for the season too, because boy, oh boy, we got updates to the game. We got new characters More coming DLC out. More DLC characters coming. Oh yeah, man. Lots it of, is lots going to stuff. be very fun these next couple months leading up into uh, all the DLC releases. But here we go. Dragon versus Young Monster. Now, Dragon's the one in the silver and red. Young Monster is the one in the yellow and red. Oh, nicely done. That's what's so good about Asher, too. She's got incredible reach with her strings. One little hit, one little opening. Boom, full combo punish. So, is this the title for best Asher player online? Yes, so. It's week eight. Only one of these competitors can move on. Only one of these competitors can try to qualify for the finale. So, look, I'm the tree with the green eyes alive, and you're the dead tree on the right. Oh! No, that's me. That we're the two trees combined in an, another life, and we hate each there other. We we're always yeah. arguing. We say, "I hate you." I you wish I was never a tree with you. Yeah, Caboose is only able to make drones like that. Look at this, we got purple versus light stance here. Dark stance versus light stance. Good jumping, but a whip punish coming from Dragon. A Crypt Guard and a half. Gonna go for big boy damage. 399 tries to avoid the wake up. But Young Monster still gets it. Damn, 399 is on sale. One. Huh? What's on sale? Look at that dead boar or bear or whatever that is in the background there. That's me. Oh. That's me after eating too much McDonald's. <laughs> oh, good counter. What happened there? Dragon missed the overhead. The monster has the fatal blow destroyer. Seconds left. Again, Young Monster has that fatal blow. Just needs to find a hit. Went for the overhead. Oh, wow, that overhead so bad. Eight seconds. The throw. Oh, that's going to run the clock so much. So wow. I told you, man, this is going to be around. another set where patience is yep. key. Dragon yep. running that timer taking it and if, if dragon keeps the place out up like this i feel like your monster might get flustered he might get aggravated and he'll start making mistakes dragon he is the master at making you hang yourself 
Look at this. Whoopsies right now. Using that sword range. Using the Tony Serino. And it's crazy how Bofa realizes Serena is potentially Oscar's best cameo. She gets so much utility with this cameo. Good punish. Nice done. Goes for the Tony Serenos again. Oh my god, the boost. Not able to get a confirm because he didn't have meter. That's a good escape from Young Monster. And there it is! He gets clipped by the rage of that sword again. Oh, man. Dragon right now. Showing that he is dominating the footsie department. Oh, but the neutral jump punish destroyer. This is gonna be huge. This might damage. be 50 percent a lot. Oh and God. didn't get him airborne for too long as well. This is not going to scale a whole bunch. This We're looking hurt. at well over 50. No doubt about it, Destroyer. <laughs> We're both just watching this at all. Okay, not well over 50. Close to 50. I mean, 472. He's going to be taking the life lead off of that one. Trying to get some chip out going. My goodness, 10 seconds left. Dragon gets closed out though. Nicely done. Young monsters gonna take team one. Azure wins. Great game one there for a young monster. That match took 42 years to complete. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Somebody's outside my window right now dropping fart bombs, and I'm in sick and tired of it. Mm. All right, here we go, Young Monster of game number one. Bofa. All right, the Tony Serino right off rip. Dragon loves using that forward cameo throw. I mean, it's a super quick projectile. She recovers almost instantly. There's no reason not to spam that projectile from Serino. Plus frames. Didn't get to confirm, but keeping those plus frames going. Oh, there it is. The monster fighting back right now. Throws to Tony Serino's. Gonna ask for projection right in his face into a throw. Yo, have you been seeing some of the character mods on Mortal Kombat 1 PC? Like the Serena yeah, people Alien have been going mod? Crazy. People have been going crazy with that. Have you seen the, the Serena Marvel Alien? Mod? I didn't see that, but I saw like people made Baraka into Wolverine and stuff like that. It's crazy. Oh my god. Did you see the uh, the Melina turned into Brendan Fraser's The Whale? No, I gotta download that mod ASAP. Ooh, good wake up punish. That's going to be some juicy damage, almost 40% for what? Ashra has not barely any scaling, man. Now tell me for what? For what? For what, man? Puts him on the ground. Tries to go for the overhead. Teleports to the other side. Tony Serino time, here we go. Wow, young monster with a very convincing game two right now. Put a dragon on the ropes. Dragon one, one loss away from being eliminated here from the tournament destroyer. I mean, Dragon was kind of put in this position literally the last match against, uh, what was it? Bandinos? You're right. You're right. Hopefully this time he can bounce back and close it out. Because he got super close to making the reverse 3-0 against Bandinos. But man, that dude was playing out of his mind. Dino is definitely a monster with that rain and sub-zero combo. Let's hear let's see here what Dragon is going to do now going into game three. Again, as I mentioned earlier, I mean this is definitely not a position where you can count out Dragon. This dude is a veteran to the game, a veteran to the scene. He can make these comebacks. Good jump. This is gonna hurt. Crazy confirmed from Young Monster. Cashing out on 327. Wowzers. And I've noticed one thing about Young and Dragon. Young does not mind throwing out that, uh, the multiple 
projectiles from Serena. Oh, yeah. Dragon more so likes to use the single one. So he can have more yeah. time on cameo usage, I feel. Yeah, that and sometimes, you know, it just gives, it gives the opportunity to just keep pressuring your opponent. Dragon now gonna take, or sorry, Young Monster's actually gonna take that round. Getting mixed up on who's who here. Who's who? Blue Slews? Both their skins this time look very, like, very similar. Dragon, though, getting started right now with a 40% combo in the second round. Match point for Young Monster, though. Do or die time for Dragon. Oh, he actually got clipped! Alone. Good throw. I'm having a hard time knowing who's who sometimes, but you just gotta pay attention to the life bars. Oh, he dashes up in his face, gets the down one, teleports to the other side. Dragon's getting very aggressive here. Okay, there we go, Dragon. That's just young monster being a little greedy. Okay, he can definitely bounce back, Caboose. All he needs is one on the board, and that changes everything. Yes. Big punish. Everything working out in Dragon's favor right now, Destroyer, in game three. My god, 415 for that. Whoa, why didn't the overhead connect? He was too high in the air? That was weird. No, oh, and there's a punish, and this could spell the end, but no, Dragon did not have the meter. Draining his meter actually ended up being a huge benefit. Young Monster, Dark Energy is activated. Watch out for the Tony Serenos. Oh my Monster. god. Oh my god. Still has a chance. The crisscross to apples off is wild. He's gotta be so careful, Destroyer. Look out for the overhead. Look out for the overhead again, and there it is. Dragon finds a hit, gets a game on the board. Beautiful patience from Dragon Caboose. Two overheads back to back like that, I would have got caught slipping, and you would have seen me in the hospital bed saying, <laughs> Okay. Again, very tough position for Dragon to be in, but that one win could have been the beginning of a download. You say you're gonna download Scum and play with me? No, I'm gonna call you Scumbag. Oh, nice and done from Young Monster. Off to a great start here in Game Four. Out of patience right now. Oh, Dragon gets the low. Not able to confirm though again because he didn't toss out the two hitting Serino cameo, but there we go. Damage 30%. Switching sides though. Not sure that's what Dragon would have wanted. Oh, wait. Somebody's gonna what? take this L. What? I got kicked out of the King of the Hill. Oh, no. What do we do, Destroyer? I mean, who's winning? You want me to just tell you what happens? On the yeah, phone? yeah, tell me what's happening. All right, right now it's still very close. Nobody has taken this first round just yet. Let me send you another invite. Wow, thanks, Nether Realm. No, I'm kidding. Okay, and so far, Dragon actually just took the first round. Dragon may be working on a bit of a comeback here, Destroyer. I don't know why it's not letting me invite you. Okay, there we go. Young Monster fighting back, though. This is going to be really hard to commentate, even though you guys can't see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I mean, hey, listen, on the bright side, at least it happened with an Ashram arrow. No doubt about it. Dragon actually is answering back and tied up. Sorry, Young Monster tied up the rounds. Now on match point. All right, we can see the match. 
We got the health go, bars. Look at those, yo, look at the health bars. Yo. Crazy. We see the oh, match. Huge. Young monster got a hit in, but Dragon ended up hitting the Breaker Destroyer. It's so intense. These health bars, the percentages that you're seeing oh right God. now on the screen. Who's player one? I Who's can't even two? believe it. Who's player Young one? Who's monster. player two? Young monster is player two. Young is winning right now. Young is winning. Dragon is actually answering back, though, chipping away at Young Monster's life. Catches an overhead into the Tony Serino cameo, getting a huge combo. Dragon a couple of hits away from sending us to our first game five of the night. Lots of Tony Serino's being tossed out. I can't even believe what you guys are missing out on right now. Oh my God, Bo Raicho's on the screen, imagine. Wait, what? <laughs> he just popped up and actually Destroyer Dragon took the game. We're going to a game five. Oh my God. Are you AFK? You got, yo, go AFK, AFK, AFK. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I can't you believe Araito made it appear. You almost got in there. You wow, almost the got game wasn't that. on. All right, all right, all right. Game five now. Hopefully, Destroyer doesn't disconnect off this one. Dragon has actually battled back Destroyer. It was looking like it could have been a 3-0 for Young Monster. As you said, though, all Dragon needs is that one game. Just that tiny little bit of momentum to start going crazy. And let's see, game five underway. No, what, ha what ha happened was Dragon kicked me out of his, his King of the Hill. That's why he likes to host it. Oh, okay. He kicked me out of the King of the Hill. Good pressure here. That's gonna be a nasty confirmed Dragon. Gonna get the Serena combo. What is this, 40%? I mean, basically, right? No, it's a 38. Can't read? Hey. Idiot. Hey! Sorry, sorry. Good throw. Astro projection all over the place, dude. That teleport. was some wild pressure from Young Monster. I don't even know what happened. Yo, did you see how they activated the dark energy at the same time? They're so insane. Crazy. I'm telling you, man, it's exactly oh, what that's I a said. Punish. Young Monster is definitely the more fast-paced player. The dude just, he's all over the screen. And then you got Dragon being super defensive, waiting for that one hit to just dish out 40-plus damage with Ashra. Dragon certainly of the two here is a bit more methodical with his play. Oh, and there it is. This could end up being the end of the round so long as you connect this Fatal Blow combo. Yes, I believe that's going to be it. If not, it'll be very, very close. Wow, just like that to boost Dragon oh, it is... might not be enough. Dragon is on the verge. I think oh, it is enough. enough for sure. Now it's he's enough. gonna be on a match point situation. He needs one more round to continue in this crazy bracket. It's a complete a reverse 3 0. -oh. Can you believe it, Destroyer? A reverse Pipo? Reverse Pipo, maybe even a ship of it. Reverse PP Unsaki. Oh man, Destroyer Dragon continuing the onslaught. Really running away with this one. Young Monster falling apart a little bit here now in game five. Okay. Plus frames, plus frames, plus frames, plus frames. Oh, oh the air I'm gonna say if he did it again, yo, that's just way too many plus frames back to back. There's a point where you gotta do something about it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, 30% off that, one hit'll do it. Young Monster now, in an only real master scenario. Okay, gets the Tony Serino. Wait, what is he doing? Oh no, that is very unfortunate. Young Monster has a combo, but Dragon completes the reverse 3-0 and eliminates I'm Your Alpha or Young Monster from the tournament to move on now into loser semis. Wow, man, what composure from Dragon. This dude literally just came in like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and pulled the ultimate comeback of the century. He almost did this twice, by the way. He was down two games to zero against Bandinos and almost pulled off the same stunt here. Dragon yep. is here to compete. Staying alive in the lower side, everyone in the lower side is gonna have to be very cautious of Dragon. 
just need Young Monster to leave the lobby. Actually, hold on. Let's create a. Let's create another one just in case. Okay, okay. I'll make a new one. Good stuff, man. Good stuff from rubble. Dragon. Really good stuff from Dragon. Yeah, Dragon staying alive here, Destroyer, with that reverse 3 0, surviving the loser's bracket and eliminating I'm your Alpha from the tournament. I'm your who? Uh, you mean Young Monster? Yeah. Well, it says I'm your Alpha. Is it not the same thing? No. It's been Young Monster in the bracket, it's been Young Monster in the tournament. Well, you sure? So you're sure about that? I don't know what you're talking about. So if you look at the star GG right now, it's not going to say I'm your alpha. No, young monster for me. Why are you stupid idiot for, huh? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, let me know when you got those invites out. God. All right. Uh, Brat's pack is um, Hourglass of Rain, right? Uh, yes, Brad's pack right. is our glass of rain. Invite the invite next sent. match here is definitely going to be a crazy one. Winner of this is going to advance to fight uh, Dragon. Wow. Yeah, you don't like the tournament, huh? Why yeah, don't you yeah, get out of here? Sorry. sorry. Why don't Not you fun. get out of here? You don't like the tournament? Why don't you get out of here? Uh, Mr. Aquaman, come through. Oh, wait. Aquaman, you don't like Omni Man and Kung Lao? Get a different commentator. My fault. Get a different commentator. Here we go. Next match underway. Next match underwear. We got a good one. This is it. Last match of the losers quarterfinals destroyer between Deadly Rebel and Hourglass of Rain. Deadly Rebel doing so well with this Omni Man. Hourglass. Suffered a really tough loss on the winner's side against Get Wrecked. It was 3 0 and dealt with a very difficult Johnny Cage. Let's see what he can do against this Omni Man. Yo, can we just take a second to grasp the fact that this is it? This is the final qualifier, and we're going to get the finale in a, in a couple days here. This is it. I need to see some hype in the chat. Let's get it popping. My goodness. This Omni-Man has been on a tear, Caboose. Here we go, we're going to get some optimals. No. What kind of combo was that? That was probably a insane setup for the Lao Hat. Bro, that was domination. Domination. Your domination from Deadly Rebel. Tries to go with a forward four, but a jump out from our glass of rain. Guys, I'm gonna down one instantly going for the forward three. Very smart stuff from Deadly Rebel. Good breaker. Wow, beautiful oh. stuff there. That is such a tough setup of blocks in the corner. I mean, he went for the up block when he should have been waiting for the hearts of lockable. And the thing is with that is like, I was telling you, Caboose, either you have to react like a madman, or you gotta get ready for the full screen 50-50 from Omni Man once he has the low hat set up. Because remember, he can let the low hat rip first, or he can let the overhead rip first. Teleport to the other side with a beautiful call out from Hourglass of Rain. Gets the punish. And he's going to cash out on some fat damage. Jesus. Good sweep. Tries to double up on it. The down poke. Uh oh, this is going to hurt big time now. Good oh, we got to go for Jump one into standing three. Dive bomb. Yes, sir. So tough to block again. The Does he thunder with the to keep it unbreakable? No. Going to get him off the breaker. Good block, actually, there from the Hourglass of Rain. The empty jump into the throw. Now one combo will do it. The Deadly Rebel gets caught though by the teleport. Wow, that worked! Into the Thunderclap. Thunderclap City Destroyer. Oh, and the forward two from hell. If that forward two would have been blocked, he would have been a dead man. Unbelievable stuff. Deadly Rebel with some of the craziest commitments I've seen in Mortal Kombat 1. And it's working out for him.
I wonder. Do you think Omni Man will do good in the uh, Twerkaholics competition? Why oh, he'd be the winner? Are you kidding me? I mean, if you ask me, his thighs are ready to hulk out of that suit any any second. You said he's ready to turn there's into a, a Hulk Buster. There's a, there's a reason why he always stands so so straight. You know, like you don't see this guy bend his knees all that often. Okay, he's gonna hit him down to the ground. Giblet Maker for the wake up. Beautiful stuff. Wait a second, they're just pacing each other's footsteps here. The thunderclap. Once Omni Man locks you down to a certain distance, you gotta be ready for an instant thunderclap. It's so hard to deal with, Caboose. Because the move just comes out so quick. And it's one ten of your life gone. Look at the patience. Oh, good throw. You got Heineken Man in the background going crazy right now. He said, oh, look at that now. He said, I love Omni Man. Now, you know what he said, Caboose? He said, What is that? What did I make it? <laughs> DJ Khaled. <laughs> Let's go. We are All right, Nedley Rebel. That's the breaker there. Trying to go for the forward two. Got punished three times. Both these guys tossing out the Lao hats. Yeah, the Rebel didn't realize it was still active. Oh, that was like a triple low. Good block from Deadly Rebel there. Wow, that damage is out of control into a setup. Hourglass of Rain running away with this one, Destroyer. Good throw, too slow. Come on, his commentators cursed him. I hope so. Overhead. And another. This and might that be is it. it. Hourglass of Rain is going to tie this set up 1 to 1. Really good stuff from both players. I mean, that, that definitely could have went mask? either way. Stay there. Are we, oh, bro, how many times are we going to go over that? How does the mask not fall off? How many times are we going to go over this? Nether Realm. I need I need Netherum to pause any future updates they have for Mortal Kombat 1, okay? I don't want to see a single balance patch until it's explained how Melina's hat mask doesn't fall off when she pulls it off in her outro. I don't, guys, like, the, is Caboose okay? Because honestly, she... They, it, said, they said it's wrapped around her ear. Listen, but she pulls listen, it off listen, listen. and leaves it on her chest. Listen, look at her chest area. There's going to be little specks of white dots. It's the gorilla glue that she puts on her chest every day before she fights somebody. And what she does is she removes the mask. The mask falls gracefully on top of the gorilla glue on her chest, and it stays there. I don't know what the so gorilla glue. The, the gorilla Coral? glue. Coral. Gorilla Groove. Gorilla Glue. All right. Chat. Press one in the chat if Caboose is a stupid idiot. <laughs> Press two in the chat if you think Caboose is a stupid idiot. And then I'm going to need a three in the chat if you think Destroyer is a stupid idiot. If I don't see nothing but three in the chat, I'll ban every single one of you guys. Wow. That's messed up. Wait, Destroyer, can he make the ultimate comeback? No. no. I see a lot of threes. That's not right. Zombat said one and three. Wow. Damn. All right, that's it. I'm banning everybody. Go oh, nicely jump. done. Ooh. Way to get out of there. Avoiding the setup. Oh, my God. He goes for the block, goes for the jump, and wowzers! Nicely done there. I'm not gonna lie. I want to see a Viltrumite in the final eight. That's right, bias commentary. I want to see a Viltrumite in the top eight. Confirmed bias. Confirmed bias for Wait. the Omni Man thighs only. Destroyer. What? Can't you get off the forward four and then the Lao Hat? Can't you get a dash? 
into the standing, like, standing three, three dive bomb. Yes. Four. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So you know your things. Yeah. So you play Omni Man. Ooh, I that's gonna I'll play a little. I play a little Omni Man, but I know that that's very, very tough to land. So it's not. It's, it's actually not. No, it is. No, it's not. I'm yep. telling you, look, practice makes perfect. There's always there's always that one move in wow. Mortal Kombat where you say to You're yourself, he's bad. He's really good. But there's always that one move where you say to yourself, man, I cannot get this down. The timing's weird. Do it for like a day or two. It's going to feel so much easier. And I feel like the same applies with Omni-Man's thighs. <laughs> you squeeze him, you know, one, maybe two days. And by the third day... You're gonna be a pro at squeezing his thighs. Wait, you just gonna know to, how you do I it. Didn't <laughs> say that. Oh no. No, no, no. It's not like that. It's not like that. Oh, look at this setup. Destroyer. No! That's the breaker. Oh, wait the, a second. The, he did the low into the low confirm. No mama's way. Deadly rebel. This is close. Oh, he tried to go for the dive bomb, but gets caught. There we go. Hourglass of Rain's gonna go up two to one in the set. My God, he's on. See, look. How did it stay? I didn't see the glue dots. She, she's, like, she's bending forward. Okay, the physics, it doesn't make sense. What do you mean, COVID mask, Baylina? Explain! It's magic? They said it's magic. Yo, alright, that's it. I'm gonna contact one of my, uh... It's a chain? I'm gonna contact... Where's the chain? I'm gonna contact somebody from Netherrealm Studios. I'm gonna put him on the phone, alright? Yeah, get it. Get him on the phone he's right coming, now. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. I'm telling you, I don't want a single patch or update Hello. or balance anything. Hello, hey, how's it going? Look, I know you want to understand how the mask stays on Melina and the way it stays. <laughs> Yo, I didn't know British Squidward worked in three another room. So you, that, you got your that answer? Knocked, that knocked him out. <laughs> you, got, you got your answer. Jesus oh, Christ, I'm God. pissed. Good stuff from Deadly Rebel trying to tie this up two to two. Oh, good stuff there. Nice punish. Deadly Rebel, though. And I answer back. Hourglass of Rain with the corner now. I'm dead. Somebody said that was Wasminator. Yeah! Let's go! Oh my god. Are we glass of rain right now on a match point situation? Oh my god! Really good stuff. The breaker. Nah, that's a cla- the Wasminator pulling up into the studio screaming yo is a classic at this point. <laughs> I don't know how he takes the flight from Australia all the way to Canada to get that to happen. Crazy. Oh, man. Good throw. Deadly Rebel has the life lead here. He just needs to squeeze Melina's head in between his thighs and oh he's gonna God. win. <laughs> he's gonna win. <laughs> No, they gotta make that a no. third fatality. Imagine if instead of him squeezing you with his hands, it was he put you between his legs. They gotta make that the just, third fatality. He just leg locks your head and just starts <laughs> <laughs> squeezing in between his thighs. And then they zoom up into his face and he's got like that evil smile. Oh my god. Bro, I'm telling you, they gotta put me to direct some of these fatals. And then they gotta, they gotta get Omni-Man to do that to me next. Oh, uh huh? Huh? Jesus, that's going to be two games to two. We got a tied situation here. Unbelievable stuff. Omni-Man just filled with blood and guts. Holy. Yo. Every, did everyone see? Is everyone caught up with Omni-Man? Can, can I talk about it or? No Was spoilers. Invincible, you mean? Invincible, Invincible. Everybody caught up with the question. show? 
You guys all watched Invincible? Cause yo, that that turn of events that, with Omni Man and the, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, the, yeah, and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Devorah, it, you know like, what I'm saying? Let's not spoil it, but yeah, that latest Devorah, episode, just in general, that latest episode was crazy. Insane. Outworld is the strongest of all realms. Good. I'll break out. All right, all right. We won't spoil it. But listen, do me a favor. By next, by the finale, if y'all haven't watched it, I'm spoiling the whole thing for real. We're just gonna stream the every episode actually. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> On like time ten speed. <laughs> Spoil the whole thing speed run. Here we go, final game, deadly rebel. Looking to make a comeback. Oh, Good block. From the loud ass. Rain. Yeah, either he mistimed it or he tried to make that block super tight. But it kind of looked like he had the uh, unblockable protection there because it hit it hit at the same time. Right. Oh, the back one one. He's going for the opti. Didn't have the meter. Oh. In that situation, it's so key to have a bar of meter because it's very tight to land just a regular ghost and stance grab. That I have to agree. If you don't have that timing down for the forward three, burning that meter is the key to get that guaranteed damage. But Deadly Rebel playing opti man, he is going to be taking those risks. Oh my god, Caboose, this is way too close. Very tight destroyer. One hit on both ends will do it! Whoa! He activates the Lao Hat, could have gotten a big whiff oh on it. Oh my god. Oh Back my god! Teleport. Look how close this is. Out of range for the Thunderclap. They both get the Lao Hat out! They trade the teleport! It's gonna do it! Yo, let's go! Why is he out here? Oh my goodness, destroyer. Look at this hourglass of rain. Gonna get a big combo in right now. Wow, he went for the, the power bomb, just, just like that. Yo, no wow went, had nothing. He went for the RKO. Oh no, this is bad news. Bears Brad's pack, aka Hourglass of Rain, aka Wait, I'm your Alpha, aka oh, Young no, Monster. Destroyer. He spent the meter to go for the optimal, but unfortunately he was out of range, not able to land it. Hourglass of Rain, yo, me next. I mean, oh, that was disgusting. Nah, you don't want wow, that next. You that crazy. Was, that was gross. Hey, she, she gives you that one next, you're gonna be Man. jawless. <laughs> Dude, that was really You know gross. when they say a woman got your jaw dropped? That I, is right there. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen to me ever. Wink, that wink. Really um, messed up. All right, stop um, the music. You're a sick, you're a sick sorry. individual. My fault. You're a My sick fault. individual. Somebody My get fault. this guy the Melina Sendel Katana package, please. My fault. Somebody get this guy the triple threat, please. Destroyer, what a set that was. Unfortunately, eliminating the Omni-Man that we had here in the tournament. I mean, I was cheering for Omni-Man as well. Um, Dragon, we are going to get to your match later. Actually, we're going to run the winner's finals. And then we'll get to you after that, your match against Hourglass of Rain. Dragon so, said uh, either play his match now invites. or he's going to DQ. <laughs> so you can hold out on those invites. Next up, though, Destroyer. Man, we got Bandinos against get wrecked yo walter white yo let's get it popping man send those invites out i'm ready because i mean i feel like these last eight weeks have flew by so quick Seriously. it felt like it was just last week me and caboose said let's start mortal kombat one champions of the realms and we're already in the eighth week the final week we're getting one more yo. competitor here to be crowned a champion of the realm <laughs> And when's the finale the going time. down, Caboose? When's the finale going down? Right. Yeah, the finale will be going down on December 29th. That's when you can watch the top eight. But sure, have we decided who, whose channel is that going to be on? So are we doing that on your channel? <laughs> I think it might be on my channel. Are you high, man? All right, so we're doing that on Destroyer's channel. You want to do it on channel. your channel? You know what? Why don't we do it on uh, Jimmy School's channel? You know what? I think we'll do it on Spanky Doodle's channel to keep it even. Do it on Spanky Doodle's channel. How about that? Here we go, though, Destroyer. Game one underway. Both these competitors have proven to be some of the top of the top. The creme de la creme for this top eight. Bandinos is so well with the train. Actually, rocking the Striker cameo. I believe before we had seen that Bandinos would be using the Sub-Zero cameo, but I guess 
not really useful against a character that pretty much has no projectiles. Really, uh, really good I mean, he throw. Could, he could use it against the uh, the Lao Tamiyo, so I don't know. 100%. He, he tried to go right for the jump in. Yeah. Listen, Striker can go to sleep, all right? That cameo's busted. We all know it. Oh, he actually shut it down. Striker was about to do some crazy robbery there. The irony on that, huh? Good forward three. Tries to get a confirm, but the breaker coming from Bandinos. You know what it is, too? I feel like this is the perfect cameo to kind of de uh, defend against Johnny Cage. Because Johnny, sometimes you can't get him off of you. And if you can get that strike grenade to just, like, back him off a bit, you can kind of restore the neutral balance. You feel me on that? I feel you. Or you think I don't know what I'm talking about? I mean, I, sometimes I do think you're a big stupid idiot, but you know, in that case, or in that instance, you got it right. You got it right, kid. Yo, I love the callback to OG Havoc in the background with his mace. I'm surprised oh, he didn't yeah. implement that into his uh, playstyle in this game. Yeah, actually, I'm interested to in that as well. Okay, 318 goes for a really good jump in there. He's got the corner pressure under control, but a down poke. Giving Get Wreck some breathing room here. Oh my god, what a whip punish! Bandinos just backing off. Goes with some more striker. Goes with the tornado toilet attack. The diarrhea. The tornado toilet attack. The diarrhea. What happened? You don't like the tornado toilet attack? I don't know about that. Oh, into Fatal, but the Breaker. There it is. Okay, he still has a chance to get around on the board. That was crazy. 17 seconds left. Bandinos has done such a good job in the first step that we saw from him at just running that clock. Right now, though, he has a life deficit. Needs to get some hits oh in. My is God. that going to be enough to close out the life lead? No, it's not. A few seconds left, he chips out, all the back and forth, wait a second, oh, and there it is, get wrecked, yo, Walter White, yo, yeah. Skyler White, yo, yo, that was crazy, yo, yo, that was crazy, yo, Bandinos was literally trying everything in his power to try to keep that life lead there, but get wrecked, got a little too aggressive, and that is Johnny Cage's specialty treatment getting aggressive. What's that, Caboose? You said you want to go... You said you want to go kick rocks with Rain? In the pond? I'm down. All right, Rain. Get in the kayak. So you want to be Earth Realm? I didn't turn toward you. I turned away from Shao. Why did they pick the stage? Well, all I'm saying is if my video gets age restricted, oh my god. Really? I'm uploading it on your YouTube channel. How about that? Man. Okay, good down, folks. By the way, I want to mention a massive shout out to everybody watching this on the YouTube for the future upload. The support on the YouTube has been crazy. Good down two. Bandinos. Definitely turning everything around here with that round alone. He said Johnny Cage? Nah. I don't care about plus frames. Good stagger. Goes for a throw. Too slow. Too slow. Oh my god, he's using Cyrax. Did you just realize that? I just realized it. Oh yeah, picked up on that too. Meteors. Oh, nicely done. The overhead with the low. How do you even block it, Destroyer? First, you put the cookie on the grill. Then, first you hit the block button on the grill. Then, you put the run button on the fryer. Then, you put the health inspector on the grill. Ha. Really good pressure right now. Get wrecked. He's just doing what Johnny Cage does best. 
and that's jailing you with standing one one standing one forward three uh back one standing one standing three standing two all his buttons all his buttons johnny does whatever he wants whenever he wants good stuff there from get wreck yo fight i can't help it every time i say his name like i have to do the bit like, I can't just say, get wrecked, yo, and then leave it. You know, like, I have to be like, Skylar White, yo! Oh, nice block on the shadow kick. Maybe Bandino's that time was expecting it. Oh, what did he get off of this? Okay, so he's getting 384 combos. Like, is it worth it? I feel like he gets a lot more utility with characters like, uh, Brendan Fraser's The Whale. Good throw, yo. Puts the Lao hat, goes for the heart to block, makes up out of nowhere. That's gonna be devastating stuff, forcing Bandinos off of a breaker here. They kind of been duking it out in the right side of the screen the entirety of this match. Good throw, nice yo. Throw. Oh, into the Cyrax actually. Good stuff oh. there. I mean, I didn't know he was getting a back throw. Wow, that changes everything. There, there. Timer's running out here for Get Wreck, yo. Just wasted the whole cameo for that setup there. Was it worth it? Let me work it. <laughs> All right, why don't you go twerk it? Why don't you go flip it and reverse it? Blocks the fatal blow attempt and Bandino ties it up with the brutality. He's <laughs> you know what they got to do for King of the Hill as well? Especially for a forever king. They got to just add a, like a rematch or select character thing. But then again, I guess it wouldn't make sense because it's King of the Hill, but I don't know. I'm asking too much. I you think, know what? Sorry, Ed, I'm sorry. I'm I asking. think Ed Boone is not going to invite you to the next NRS tea party. Man. There goes my WB paycheck. Wait, what? Huh? You're Wait, what? If you think you what? can beat me. I've had enough of your posturing, Cage. Whatever. Alright, you better watch your mouth or else I'm not gonna give right, you the McDonald's right, this week. Right. My fault. Oh, really good start for Bandino. He's gonna get that first hit advantage. Getting an extra bar to work with. And the throw damage! Alright! He gets almost 20% off of a back throw? That is probably worth it. Cause that was just 60% of his life gone for one combo and a throw. Beautiful stuff. Yo, what was that? I've never seen that move before. Oh my God, that was a flawless victory. Bandino's entering another dimension. This dude is possessed. Somebody called John Leguizamo. Nah, but real talk, I've never seen the two water portals and then the water sprout. From the other side, like, huh? <laughs> the water sprout. They went up the water sprout. Down came the rain and watch the spider out. Dragon said, Destroyer thought he saw a DLC special. Oh, look at this now, Destroyer. Nah, I honestly thought I saw the itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> well, the water sprout. Oh, here it is. He's got a portal. He's got to watch out. He might have a water sprout in there. <laughs> oh, there it is again. Yeah, he activates the teleport. This guy's playing portal. Goaded game, by the way. Oh, you saw that? One of the greatest of all time. Nice throw. Oh, no. That could be the end of the game there, actually. That with the Cyrax cameo, that is going to be the end. 195 damage, 1 800, 195 damage, Cyrax cameo. I think that's a win win situation for Bandinos. He's going to be going up two games to one here on Get Wrecked, yo. Skylar White, yo. 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 Yo.
Yeah, the competition is crazy. Yo, who, wa who wants to ditch this tournament and go play scum with me? I need to get some hype in the chat right now. Come on. Yo, who wants Let's to go. ditch? Who wants to ditch Give the tournament the and go play scum with me? Let's to play the stupid game. Hey. Get Rex should just stick with Johnny. I don't even know why you gotta think about switching off that broken. Oh, yeah. He's gonna he's gonna switch over to the to the Luke Kang. He switched off of Johnny. Can you believe it? Yeah. It's crazy. Well, here that, we go. Put that Luke Kang down. No. Yeah. Yeah. Arnold. Yeah. Arnold. Why did you guys cancel the Total Recall series? Uh, yeah, because they didn't put me in the in the voice, in the combat. I got some guy in the show. But who's this guy? It's not me. He said, I'm you. And I said, ah, you're me. I'm you. Okay, here we go. Can get wrecked and do this. Yo, this guy's eating hella damage off of those back throws. Oh my god. Oh, wow. And he like the armor there. If he got the combo off of the armor as well, I would have lost my marbles. But yeah, where would they have gone? Into Shao Kahn's mouth. Oh man. Good pressure here. Goes for the jump in. Get wrecked, yo. Skylar White, yo. As a fat life lead, yo. Can he keep it? Good block, I will yo. Say, you know, somebody actually made an interesting point in the chat, too, because Bandino's... You know, Bandino's actually had the opportunity, because of the character switch, to switch to Sub-Zero cameo if he wanted to. But he opted to stick to the Cyrax cameo. I feel like a lot of players, they're so used to the way that old time rules have, have been, that they feel like they have to just be locked into the character and cameo and pick. But per tournament rules, if your opponent switches character with your cameo. That is so right true. now he is he is stuck with the Cyrax cameo, but I feel like because of the zoning and because of what a character Sub Zero like could have been the move full screen, Sub Zero would have been probably a better cameo and well, cameo that Bandino is very comfortable with. Well listen, we're definitely not gonna blame it on him not knowing the rules because no, that no, no, is not at all. standard for tournaments right now and we stated that since the beginning of the age of the dinosaurs. So let's get this popping. He's gonna put the water sprout on the floor, doubles up on it. 65 million years ago. 65 million years ago, we, we stated that rule. It was prophesized on stone writing. Oh no, this time the hit stunner well, didn't know exactly where that Cyrax cameo was gonna have the opponent land. There's the full string, good blocks there from Get Wreck Yo, and the forward four will connect. All right, you know what, Caboose? Next oh. time I see you, I'm buying you an ice latte. Oh, wow. French no French way. Hey, does this land? Do yes, it oh, does. Oh, it's out of range. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, and the toilet flush connected. Yes, it does. Just not land. To get wrecked. He's able to land some projectiles. I have a good feeling we're going to see a cameo switch right now. And I mean, a, a cameo switch to Sub Zero will be not great for Get Rectio in this scenario, but the character switch to Liu Kang no. is doing good so far. You're right. Listen, the, if he doesn't, listen, if he, listen to me, listen real quick. Yo, listen up real quick, Caboose. If oh he does God, the really cameo to switch listen. to Sub-Zero, that is, I feel a direct, listen up real quick. That's a direct counter. <laughs> yo, listen to me real fast. Shut up. It's a direct, yo, listen to me real fast. Yo, listen up real quick. It's a direct counter to Kung I'm Lao listening. Kang, yo. It's a direct counter to Kung Lao cameo, I'm so it, what you, I'm it wouldn't be a bad idea if he does it. Yo, listen up real quick. Wait, did he switch? I didn't see. He did. Not yeah, switch. No, he did. He did. There it is. All right, that's it. We got Johnny Stools versus Cornelius Longhorn. What? <laughs> Good throw. Change the names of the scoreboard right now. Johnny Stools versus Cornelius I hear him typing too. 
I hear this guy typing away. He's dead, he's dead. He's dead, he's dead. Is when oh he teabagging yo he just teab Johnny Stool just teabag <laughs> Stool Johnny Stool just teabag especially when the timer's about to run out and he's about to lose this round I no maybe he, maybe he was spot. maybe he was like trying to auto block I, I don't know but he started hopping up and down like a bunny rabbit we got Cornelius Longhorns on match point though I will say I love when you see a timeout when somebody has a stand still because it looks like they just stand there for a second and they go and they just fall you know just yeah a little heart attack slip on a pebble 100 percent all right i'll talk to you later man. yo what's up with the with the little baby faces on the trees this is creepy as hell it reminds me of some silent hill stuff oh, it's baby group <laughs> he said it's baby does that does that one there on the right not look like baby group? let me get a closer look it looks more like Baby Yoda to me. The face looks like Baby Groot. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. I feel like Marvel, Marvel's going to hit him with a lot too really soon. I'm ready for it. Good throw from Cornelius Longhorn. Sets up the wow hat. Goes for it though. Wow. What is that? Forward four? Surprisingly, the square can't right. He's been doing a great job still, even off the cameo switch from Bandino's. The back two is going to connect. Oh my this God. is going to hurt a lot. It is. Given right now that the timer is running out, not a lot left here. Get wrecked with a crazy life lead. Bandino's has got to throw everything but the kitchen sink at Get Wrecked's way. Needs one opening. Oh, and that's going to do it, actually. There we go. Get wrecked in the grand finals on the winner's side. Was he doing? Bandino's to the loser's side. Don't know Stop what he was music. trying to Stop attempt the to do there. What was he but doing? That was crazy. Did he try to do like seven fatalities in the air? I don't know. Whatever it was, that's going to do it. Get wrecked. Going to be advancing into this bracket yep. where I think he has to face off against. Uh... Oh, no, that was winners. That was that was the winner's side destroyer. This guy Get is in the in grand, grand finals, finals. winner's side right now. Yeah. So actually, uh, Dragon, if you're watching, your match is up next. So we need you to invite me, destroyer, and then uh, hourglass of rain. Oh wow, Dragon was quick with that. Did you, did you see that how quickly he invited? Oh, us? did he send it already? He sent it already. Oh my god, that was the fastest invite in the West. Well, tell Dragon not to kick me out of the lobby this time, so we can get the full Dragon, match. Dragon, you heard stream. that? So we can get the full match on stream. Come on, Dragon, please. Somebody in the chat, Fragrance Toto Supreme says, Noob Saibot is the best character in Mortal Kombat history. I'm just, I'm inclined to agree. I'm inclined to agree with that opinion. I mean, it's not a bad opinion. Noob Saibot is really cool. I'm gonna be real who's, with you. Who's your number one? Who's like, this is the best character in the history of Mortal Kombat? My is number one Khan? character? I don't know, man. Because like, they kind of altered some characteristics that i loved about some of these characters like raiden was okay. probably my all-time favorite but he kind of got deranked in this one because uh i don't know i, I the but, reason but why OG, I was a so you're saying og raiden is your number one though yes OG raiden I'm, not, is man. I'm not okay so let me let me ask you, let me ask it to you this way right i'm not talking about in terms of how they play or like gameplay wise i'm talking just strictly like like lore you know design whatever it might be like from that standpoint who's like this is this is my guy wait i got or kicked girl. out again i think no way can you tell him to stop the match since it's early okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yo 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 can we can we can we reset guys can we reset so, so, something, something's up with with just dragon host in the lobby yeah yeah guys guys we needed we needed to reset we need to reset something's up here oh i don't know i don't know if they're gonna I don't know if they're gonna nah, reset. No, no, no. They have to reset be because we got it. We got it. We need a shoulder run. Tell them to reset it. Turn on the I don't mic. Know if tell you them guys to reset it. One, just dragon, dragon. Because just, dra both of you guys stop. Dragon's hosting in these lobbies, and I don't, I don't know why it's, it's kicking me out. Like, what the, what's going on? I don't know what you want me to do, destroyer. If they keep going. Uh. 
see, this is why we can't have stuff like this because these these lobbies, even though they updated it, it looks like stuff is is more unstable. But come on, man. Come on, I mean, man. I, I, I sent you another invite. I don't know if you're joining. They're not stopping the match. They they just kind of kept going, man. It doesn't look like they're stopping. Or th it didn't look like anybody kind of held back. I mean, look, we do. I understand you guys are competing for money, but there's nothing stopping me from DQing both the players and taking the whole prize pool. For real. <laughs> for real. I mean, we. The whole point of running these tournaments is to give you guys a show, and yeah. if you guys can't stop the match that early to reset it, so we could give you guys a show, uh, that's kind of I mean, problematic. The only thing that I would say to to give them the benefit of the doubt. To no, I don't care. This ain't Evo, bro. But maybe they didn't hear destroy they might not be listening to the stream they might not have their headphones in for to be able to hear me over the mic like i'll, I'll give them just that benefit of the doubt all right well you all know? i'm saying is you know these tournaments are free to enter like i understand you guys are taking time out of here today but we're trying to give a show for the community so yeah i think just from from here on out if we do see a scenario where dragon advances i think we just got to host the king of the hills i know dragon that there's like a whole thing with the connections there's been some some patches some updates recently king of the hills run a lot smoother now than they did a second ago so just for the sake of having destroyer not worry about disconnecting we'll just have him run it from here on out um or we'll just we'll just run the lobbies from here on out if that works for you guys again i don't know if they're listening i don't know if they're watching they're, i know they're if dragon not. i i they're know not. if dragon was watching he, he would have stopped right <laughs> Um, Hourglass of Rain, I imagine, is probably not watching either, and, and they most likely didn't hear me over the mic. I mean, they I know these guys, we've had scenarios like this happen in the past, and when they're listening or if they can hear us, they would stop, but you know, they, they didn't. They weren't expecting you to disconnect, and neither of them can see it. It's just a really unfortunate scenario, so the only way to stop this or to prevent it from happening in the future is just we host the lobbies. And leave it at that. Yeah, because I'm seeing a pattern here, man. I joined this dude's lobby. It definitely we, has we something to do with you and Dragon. Yeah, we, we can't even get uh, the match on stream. And they, they, uh, what's going on here, man? I think Omni Man's thighs are. Uh, he, he broke a couple. And then of the, wor the worst part is, is, is Dragon plays so defensive. The dude runs the match for the whole timer. <laughs> so now we're gonna be sitting here watching the light bars for like you know, a whole looking 20, at the light 20 bars minutes. For the whole, whole time. The dude plays so freaking patient. You're gonna be sitting here until every single round hits one second. It is uh, it is very close, I'll tell you that much, but Dragon Jesus just found an Christ. opening and is looking to close this one out. And indeed he will. Dragon is gonna go up 1-0 Destroyer in the set. Yeah, it was a great match. I mean, I loved every moment of it. Uh, my goodness, you wouldn't believe what I just saw. Wow. Bo Raichel came out, he was doo-dooing all over the place. It was insane. All right, here we go. Uh, back to the match. Hopefully, I don't get okay? Uh, at this point, I'm yeah. ready to destroy both of these players with Omni Man. But uh, You're ready to destroy Bofa? Bofa. Hopefully, this doesn't kick me out again. But like Kabu said, we'll stick to the invites because it seems to be stable like that. Two times back to back, Dragon invites me and I get kicked out. Nah. He's kicking me out of the lobby. We should kick him out of the tournament. What do you think? If it happens again, I'm ending the stream. Let's do it. All right, here we go, Destroyer. Now, game two underway. Game one, as intense as it gets, and I'm sure everybody in the chat can attest to yeah, that. Yeah, but you what see the thing is, if oh, you what? don't count it, then these players are going to make the biggest deal about it, and then you're not going to ever hear the end of it, and then you're what? tournament, and then everybody says, oh, you're the worst tournament organizer in the whole we, mess. We, we got to the whole mess with this. I, I, have to, I have to disagree with you on this one, because they might have not heard us. Nah, they heard. Oh, OK, my bad. I'm literally in a Discord call with both of them. Oh, my fault. I do the Discord, Discord call with them and me. Okay, good low. Tossing for my stream crash to get now, Madison. <laughs> You're unreal. <laughs> okay, I charged up swinging. the ball roll. I would have started swinging. You would have gone to the park and went on the swing. Yeah, can you push me on the swings, please? <laughs> <laughs> Can you push me on the swings, please? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, 
Like I said, look at the timer. You thought that I was trolling? Yeah. You thought no, I was mean, trolling? It's a very defensive game with Dragon. And I mean, you can't blame him. The loser's bracket with so much on the line. You got to make sure that every single hit counts. And you got to make sure that your opponent's not getting any hits on you. Dragon right now doing a good job at playing extremely defensively and it's paying off. He's done here though from Hourglass of Rain. Getting in a huge, almost 40% combo sets up with the Lao Hat. All the blocking there from Dragon. Plus. The amount of chip damage that we're witnessing here, Destroyer. Yeah, it's a lot. And right now, uh, Hourglass Rain has been holding the block button for like the last 12 seconds. I have a funny feeling this match is going to go down to maybe one or two seconds here. The breaker. Dark energy nicely done. Big interruption there for Dragon. He's going to go for the Fatal Blow combo. That going to be enough. I'm not too sure. Last time the scaling on one of these fatal blows is so weird. But it doesn't look like the case this time. It's, it's always this last bit here that does so much. My goodness, 47%. It's not enough just yet. Lord Glass of Rain has an opportunity to make that a wasted fatal blow. And Dragon, though, close out this game. Oh, and nicely done. Just wake up, bud. Dragon taking it up 2-0 now, one game away from eliminating Hourglass of Rain and moving on to the win or sorry, the losers finals, where he's gonna face off against what is it, Bandinos? Yeah, Bandinos waiting in that losers finals. Get wrecked on the winner's side of the grand finals. And I mean get wrecked, presumably gonna be playing with that Johnny Cage. That is just scary to think about. Yeah, that was a Faster match than usual there. <laughs> From what we anytime, see. Anytime we see a health bar be depleted without the timer running out, I'd have to imagine that it was a faster match than usual. For sure. I would rather not say. Alright, here we go. Potential final game. Dragon trying to steamroll into that loser's final spot where he's gonna be facing off against Bandinos. Second. Trying to go with some crazy stagger pressure. Good down pokes from Brad's pack. Oh, if he threw out the two Tony Serino cameo size. Or not size, what are they? The blades? They got the full combo there. They're just called Tony Serino at this point. The oh actual projectile, called, it, it's called a Serino. Serino uh, pizza. They're Tony Serinos. Oh, good Lao Hat. Tries to go with the overhead, but a crazy block from Dragon. Oh my God, the running connect. out. When is it not with these players? <laughs> these are the timer kings. Honestly, this, this should be a Gears mirror. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Oh, and an opening there found from Hourglass of Rain. That's going to be the round. Hourglass oh, the a really big roll. hill to climb here if he wants to find himself in the loser's final against Bandinos. Dragon looking to take this away from him. Set damage. Such a huge combo destroyer. Forward throw was going to connect. Dragon now with the corner. Hourglass of Rain, though, with the full stick of butter. Now, y'all, don't know about it. Oh, good interruption there from Hourglass of Rain. Now going to switch sides here and get a huge combo. Devastating. 38% and a setup with the Lao Hat into the low overhead. Oh, my God. This pressure is relentless. Dragon actually going to get a touch up. here, but a beautiful breaker attempt from Hourglass of Rain. He's got Fatal Blow locked and loaded. If he can get Dragon off of that breaker, we oh, can... Oh, wait, what? Oh, 
projectiles. Watch the overhead. Oh, it actually re-stands. Gonna connect with the low. Nice throw, and that's the round. Match point now for Dragon. I'm honestly scared <laughs> watching this match. I'm just waiting for my game to freeze again here. Oh, he got the up block, but the lob have prevented him from getting a punish there, Destroyer. Threatening with those teleports. Goes to the overhead. Good block there from Hourglass of Rain, and the throw is going to connect now. Hourglass of Rain. Some solid damage out there. Looking to find one opening, one crack in the defense. Oh, and that's a punish and a half destroyer. Dragon is going to walk away with 40% off this easily. Into the overhead. Oh, it's not looking good. Yeah, even but though he dropped it, answer. that projectile gave him so many plus frames on hit advantage there. Oh, he blocks the YOLO ball roll. No meter now for Hourglass of Rain. He needs to find a hit and convert into Fatal Blow, especially with the timer winding down. 30 seconds left. And look at this, just chipping away. Dragon just needs a hit, but so does Hourglass of Rain, and there it is. Dragon eliminates Hourglass of Rain with a 3-0 to move on now to the loser's final. So Dragon, if you can hear me, we need you to just stay in the lobby, and then I'm gonna invite Bandinos. Unless destroy the No, yeah, just invite, just invite Bandinos. Just invite Bandinos. Just invite Bandinos. Just invite Bandinos. You want just me to invite do that? Bandinos. So do you want me to just invite Bandinos? Just invite maybe? Bandinos. All right. All right. We'll just need hourglass of rain to leave this uh lobby. But GG's, man. It's it's obviously a bummer to see Hourglass of Rain be eliminated here, considering as well this is the final qualifier. Anybody who is eliminated, we is need Hourglass to leave. One. Yes, we need Hourglass to leave the lobby. Yo, Hourglass, leave the lobby. Uh, they can't, Get out of here. They can't hear us. Can't believe it. The players cannot. Dragon, dragons, hear us. dragons, looks good. Should I just invite Bandinos anyways? Will it will he be able to Uh no, Hourglass of Rain needs to leave. This guy just vanished. I mean it's rough. Anytime anyone takes an L in uh in any fighting game, it's it's not a it's not a good yeah. feeling, right? Should we hit him up in the Discord? Yeah, if, if you can get a hold of him. All right, here we Usually go. He on this this should be interesting. All right, he All right left. there we go. This Perfect. should this should be interesting. We have the winner's final. Yo, can you let Dragon to like pay attention if if I get kicked out or something so we could not continue the match if it's that early on? If it if it happens, yeah, that early. Hopefully, if Dragon's listening to the stream this time, because we are trying to we, we are trying to or, give the, or, the people. I don't know, Dragon. Show. If you Dragon, if you got your headphones in, I talk on my mic for my controller, so I'll just. I'll just yell into my mic next time if it happens again, if it's that early, and we can try and try and salvage something, you know? If yeah, it's like it the beginning of the match, just again, for the sake of the production, so everybody enjoys watching the sets. We don't want it to be like a full match of just health bars dwindling down. But okay, game one now underway, Destroyer, for our losers finals. This is between Dragon and Bandinos. I'm sure Bandinos is wanting that salty run back against Get Wrecked, but Dragon, I think as well, right? No, Dragon faced off against Bandinos. This is a salty run back for Dragon right now. Bandinos took the set earlier on here. Let's see what happens. Didn't a good Bandinos, start Bandinos beat Dragon before? Yes, yeah, so run back. Set. I literally, I literally just said that. When you, said you don't that. listen to me ever again, I didn't hear you say that. Ban this guy! Ban him! Did you say that? Get him out! Oh my god. Tries to get some mid pressure going, but the 120 throw. 130? Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage for a throw. Breaker. Oh, there it is. Doesn't even have to worry about the projectiles. 
Now, this is where it's actually tough. You mentioned that Dragon is a character competitor that likes to run that clock, but Bandino does like to do that as well. And Bandino is in that first set that these two played against each other earlier on tonight. I mean, he was way more successful at maintaining the life lead, which puts the pressure on Dragon. And now Bandino's taking that first round again with that clock winding down to almost 10 seconds remaining. Yeah, he's looking like Squidward Tentacles out here with these uh, water sprouts. <laughs> oh, activating one of the portals. Portal 3 right here in Mortal Kombat 1. 100% good forward throw from Dragon. Tries to stagger that low hitting string. That good sneak up there. Bandino's has the ice armor as well. Backing up and activating the ice armor once again. Ooh, gets caught by the overhead though. The throw. This is another thing that Bandino's has done exceptionally well. In pretty much every match he's played, just throw Ooh. after throw after throw. He thought he was gonna try to extend that string in the air, was looking for an up block. Dragon not giving it to him. Oh, oh wait, is that into the projectile? Yes! Oh my goodness. That changes the game. Once he and has ice armor, Dragon kind of needs to stay in place. You can't really get too wow. uh, too hyperactive here. Wow, ice armor really is just the best. One of the strongest tools that any Kanyon character can offer you. And there we go, a big combo here. Drops it though. Oh no, that that is not good. He wanted to avoid the breaker destroyer. Wait a second. He wanted to avoid the breaker. Wait a second. A low poke. Oh, Bandino's get the turn. He flawless blocks and the timer runs out. The, the dragon's not able to close out the life lead. Bandino's takes game one, my God. It looks like Bandino's used dragon's strong suit against him. The timer, unbelievable. I mean, sometimes when you play super patient like that and you're kind of like trading blow for blow following the life lead, it gets super, super dangerous at the end there because you saw it. That timer can become a factor. 100%. Are you all right? Or... You want me to call an ambulance? I want you to fix your servers. When are you going to I'm fix going to... your servers? I'm going to break my monitor. I swear. I swear, guys, if you don't fix your servers, I'm going to break my monitor. I swear. I swear. I'm going to break my monitor, guys. Yo, we gotta hydrate. So you said that's me in the background? Uh, it is. With the armadillo. <laughs> Wow. Somebody is asking if this is a rerun. A rerun. <laughs> no. Yes, it is. This is a rerun. Yeah, this is all pre-recorded. We knew you were going to type that in at this very exact moment. This is all pre-recorded. We predicted that there were going to be people in the chat asking if this is a rerun. So we preemptively expected that and decided, you know, throughout the stream, we're going to say it's a rerun. Ooh, good throw. No, what we're doing is we're, we, we already did the tournament. We're commentating it. We're commentating a rerun <laughs> of the tournament. Right, this was, we recorded this a long time ago, and now we're just, now we're watching it back. Ooh, very good confirmed. All the, all the disconnects were calculated as well. Yeah, we decided to leave that on the show. Yeah. It adds a little more excitement watching the health bar deplete in a, right? In the AFK black screen. Hey, look, it's you in the background. The armadillo. I'm chilling. Good throw. 130 damage on the table. Tries to go with the uh, meteor out. right from rain. Yo, he said push a My button. Goodness. I dare you. Man, hit him with I the mean, rainbow what do you attack. Do? What do you do? It's pretty much Bandinos gets the life lead and the clock runs out. Like champions of the clock running out. Champions of the 3-0. Oh, nice neutral duck on the throw attempt. Dragon finally finding his footing here a little bit. Everything's a rerun. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh my god. 
Oh my, oh, oh my god. 378 with the side switch. Since when did Rain hit that hard? This man is giving him Omni Man Bombo. I am AI Omni Man. I am AI Omni Man. AI Omni Man. Okay, really good stuff here. He's gonna get a confirmed. It should just about do it. Dragon showing us why he is the most patient Ashra in Mortal Kombat 1. Maybe even just one of the most patient competitors in this game, honestly. And Dino's goes for a throw Ooh. again. Okay, so this is the adaptation need to learn how to do that. Dragon needs. Dragon needs to adapt to those throws, neutral duck them. No, I mean, somebody, you're saying that there's an OS. Can, yeah, can somebody teach me? I'm being dead serious. Can somebody teach me how to duck OS? Like, am I just a stupid idiot and I can't do it? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, try to go for the overhead. Takes so long to activate that string. Good interruption there from Dragon. The life bars are pretty close. Legit, Star C A said just mass block, basically. Is that the OS? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> what happened there? I pulled my pants. You said that so sincerely, like I believe you, you know? I pulled my pants. Good throw. You gotta activate the dark blade. Nice throw. Take a boost. I pulled what? my pants. You made a little doo doo? I took my pants. 20 seconds left, Destroyer, and now Dragon is the one with the life lead. That throw is not going to be enough. Magic Pixel, though, for Bandinos, or at least close to it. The chip avoided, and that's going to oh. be enough. He does get enough hits in that string to break through all the bars of meter, and Dragon ties the set up. Man, this team is so cool. I want him to add a costume for Ashra where she gets a tail. And then the wind pose for both of them, I want their tails to kind of intertwine and make it like a heart. Like they're best friends. I gotta be honest, I don't think there's anything I want to see less than that. So you want Jared as DLC, huh? Yeah. You want uh, you want an Ermac Jared premiere skin is what you're telling Jared, me. You mean Jared? I think it's Jared. What wasn't it Jared? Not Jared. What? Sindel's Sindel's man. What was, oh, oh, oh. What was his name? King Jared. Okay, okay. What are you talking about? I thought you were talking about Jared. I was like going somewhere, Jared. I was talking about Ermac Jared premiere skin. Going somewhere, Jax? Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, hey, hey, wait, wait, whoa, wait. Whoa, 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 Jax, oh, don't do that to me, man. Wow, good grab tech from Dragon. Tries to go for the low string into the Sereno. Ooh, interrupts the overhead. That does every time I see that overhead cancel into a throw, it does not look real to me. Like the animation just bugs out, and the dude he just immediately recovers from that string. Like, what is that about? Has anybody broken the uh, the mystery behind Rain's cancels? Was that intended, or was it something that wasn't intended and they just said screw it, leave it in the game? I need answers, Sway. I need to hit the sway. Oh my god, he's got the ice armor. But a good throw coming from Dragon. What's it gonna be? The buffalo chicken? Or the mango habanero? What's it gonna be, chat? Options. Good options right there. Road there from Bandino is going to send Dragon into the corner, but the immediate air to air and a great conversion there from Dragon. I love how Sub Zero's breaker animation is the OG um, ice slide. Or no, the ice shower. Sorry, not ice slide. The ice yeah, shower. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, the fatal blow is going to connect. Is this actually going to do enough? I think it should. It might just. 
Wait, no. It might be no, no, no. I think he's alive. Oh, oh barely. Man, no. A down poke into the water sprout. Gotta get the toilet flush. He's dead. Why would he say that? Because Rain's mouth is a butt. You didn't know? Oh. That's why he wears the mask all the time. Why he wears the mask. Good plus range from Dragon. Gonna get that pressure started. The down poke. Hit advantage. Boys. Good grab tech, bro. Dragon's defense is a problem. This guy is definitely battling back. You're not seeing a similar set to what went down earlier today, Destroyer. One of the out. The ice armor, keeping him safe. Oops, tosses out a projectile. Oh, he was just about to act, activate the armor, the uh, the water barrier, but gets the shut water down. Sprout. And Dragon, the water sprout. Dragon goes up two to one now. That's what a lot of people tell me about Rain. They say that his his projectile defense is pretty juicy, but you gotta sometimes make hard reads on them because. Like right there, we saw he went for it, but the startup on it was a bit too slow. It got him punished, and that was basically GG's after that. Let's see if Bandinos is going to be able to adjust because this is loser's final chat. The winner of this match right here will be advancing into the grand finals of the final qualifier. And today, we will be getting our final competitor into the top eight finale, Caboose. How do you feel about that? How do I feel about that? You wanna go play scum with me? Let's go! Keep talking about this stupid game. I'm not playing. Hey, yo, whoa, whoa, yo. You better watch your mouth. Sorry, sorry. My fault. You better watch your mouth before I break it. I'm kidding. Good poke. Tries to go for the overhead. He was looking for an up block, but just slightly threw it out there. Dragon. Tossing a lot of projectiles here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bandinos trying to make a comeback, it seems like. Huge combo kick around the world there. 37% damage off that combo destroyer. Bandino's also with the fatal blow. And he's gonna get a punish in. Probably gonna go for the fatal blow activation. No, just gonna catch up the damage. It gets interrupted. He has the breaker still available. Throw will connect. It's a back throw. 16 seconds on the clock. Oh my god. Ice armor. The oh low poke. Oh my god. They're trading low pokes. The throw! Seven seconds! Oh, nicely done! Just down one cancels. Why do all of Dragon's matches go so down to the wire? This kid just does not give up at all. Good opening from Bandinos with the breaker from Dragon. Those are the plus frames on the projectile. That ice armor not gonna let you get away with murder here. Shooting meteors all over the place. Tries to go with a down one check. Dragon looking for something of his own. My god, 130 on the throw. So much damage. The boost with almost 800 people in the chat. This is a spectacular top eight finale here for the final qualifier. I'm about to pull my pants. Oh my god. All right. Good throw. Another 130 on the board here. Bandino. About a combo and a breath away. That's going to be two games to two, I feel. Oh! Nice down two. What? Good trade there for Bandino. Dragon said he can still make a comeback here. The throw. Oh, the throw. Oh, my God. 
Tries to go with the low plus frame. Gets another, another throw. throw. Ten seconds on the clock, Caboose. So long. He gets the overhead. Oh no! Ah! And the throw from Bandinos. Oh man, that was violent. He's gone. Killed them both. He's gone from the oh, screen. Oh, okay. Where do you think he went to Giovanni's real quick to meet up with, with uh, Giras? He grabbed a slice of pizza. Game five situation destroyer. What a battle. Every single match between these two competitors is down to the wire. And another thing to note, even though they are fighting for the Flossie Carter prize, whoever gets into this top eight finale it's a guaranteed payoff for top eight. So you get into that top eight, you're in the money. And we already did the split. We're going to do 10% for the players and we're going to do the rest for me and Caboose. You cool with that? Is Skeptum in the chat? Is Skeptum cool with that? Good. Ask Skeptum he's cool with that. I think that's Are the players cool with that? It doesn't matter. We're the host. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. How about we do a 95-5 split? We do a Twitch style. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do a 95-5 split, Twitch style. That works for me. Wow! Oh, the toilet flush. Big combo now for Bandino's Destroyer. Kick around the world. Cashing out the damage. Walk on the overhead attempt. Bandino's needs another combo. Now, oh, gonna get whipped on it. Big dragon now on match point. Really nice. Dragon has been having a crazy loser's run right now just for oh good stuff there great awareness from bandinos to know his ice armor was gonna allow him to be able to advance wow I think. look at this pressure here from bandinos that's such a good stream because you know they do classify rain as a premier zoner so i feel like this character is doing way better than him but, you know, he's got strings like that to kind of push you full screen, allows you to get the ice armor set up, and it's, it's really good stuff. Beautiful throw, though. Dragon shutting down that ice armor again. He does have Sub-Zero on cooldown, but he's got the ball. Oh, what an up block. Oh, sick. Dragon's going to have to be very careful here. Is he going to go for the hard to block? Oh, the overhead connects. Big damage incoming here now, Destroyer. And Dino wants to close out this round. Chipping away at Dragon's life. Activates one of the portals. The throw connects for Dragon. This would be the comeback of the century. He can do it. 20 seconds left. Oh my goodness, Future oh! jump. And there it is, Bandino's final game, final round. Loser's finals here as well. Only one of these competitors can move on to the grand finals. The other one will be eliminated. Is it gonna be Bandino's? Is it gonna be Dragon? Right now, Dragon getting a huge combo. That's gonna erase almost half his life bar. This is so But the intense. overhead connect for Bandino's now. Oh my God, he's gonna go with what the ice freeze. Very nice stuff here. Meteor attack. Will it flush? Oh, it's Dragon to the first fight of the division! No way that just happened. Dragon is off of all his meter. Bandino's got three sticks and butter now, babe. Bandino does have one get out of jail free card. The overhead connect. This, might be this it. is not looking this might be good it. for Dragon. He's not going to set him up. He's going to go for the full damage here, it seems like. 379 goes for the down one check. Wait a second. Oh, the oh. overhead immediate breaker from Bandino. Oh my knew god. The fatal blow would be coming. Oh my god. I can't watch. The throw. It looks like time's not going to be a factor this time. We got about I 30 seconds on the so. clock here. Somebody needs to do something now. Bandino's with the throw. It's, it's not, not over yet. yet. It's not over yet. He's got so much screen space to utilize, though, and there it is. Bandino's, he does it. 
He eliminated Dragon! Bandino's is gonna move on to the grand final! Oh my god. For Mr. the Bandino, last if you're qualifier, listening, don't what? Leave no, the no, lobby. no, 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 we're, we're, we're resetting this lobby. Are we? Yeah, we are. Okay, okay, okay. Let's okay. reset this lobby. All right. I don't my want, goodness. I don't want no, no, nothing crazy to happen in the, in the finale. Destroyer. But yo, the last couple wow. seconds there were so heart-wrenching. I mean, look at this. Dragon had him in the corner. He had all the chips in his favor. Bandino's caught him with one crazy throw that just shaped the fate of history. And that is going to do it. Bandino's is going to be our final competitor against Get Wrecked to compete for that final spot. Shoot! Smokes. Get wrecked. The final boss now of Mortal Kombat 1 here for week 8 of Champions of the Realms. <laughs> Invites are sent. This is it. Grand finals about Sheesh. to go down. And I mean, on the winner's side with a Johnny Cage, man, Bandinos has got a lot of work ahead of him. And plus, did Bandino's actually, did he play against um, Get Wrecked before? Is this going to be a runback? Yes, it will be a runback. The last time those two competitors played against each other was the winner's finals, and it was a game five where Get Wrecked had moved on to the game, to the grand finals on the winner's side. So this is the salty runback for Bandino's against Get Wrecked. The competitors are in. They're ready to go. We got a new lobby set. Get hyped. This is it. Final match before the finale. Only one of these two competitors will move on to compete for $5,000 of our prize pool, Destroyer. Oh my God, that's a lot of money, Caboose. That is a lot of money. Get hyped, everybody. It's going down. Grand Finals. Get an exclamation point, Matcherino, in the chat. If you'd like to add to our prize pool, we're at $5,100 for that insane prize pool. And my goodness, Destroyer, let's get things started here. Game one immediately underway and get wrecked. Not even going to pick Johnny. Go straight to the loot Hang pick. Okay, now it's very important to note, chat. Bandino's is coming from the lower side, so that means he needs to beat Get Wrecked two sets of three if he wants to take this tournament home and get into the finale spot. This is going to be a hard hill to climb because, oh my god, Get Wrecked with the adjustments from Liu Kang Lao have been kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. And that's coming from a player that's kind of been hard-boiled with Johnny Cage Lao, but seeing his other options is super strong, Caboose. Yeah, I mean, he feels a bit more comfortable, I feel, utilizing the Liu Kang pick. Bandino's immediately as well in this scenario, not opting for Sub-Zero. And I mean, it didn't end up working out for him when he made the switch to Sub-Zero cameo for that Game 5 scenario in Winter's Finals. So maybe he thinks that this time around, Rain and Striker are what's going to help him win this tournament. 20 seconds left on the clock. Bandino's has got a lot of life to make up, and this is his opportunity to do so. 15 seconds, Destroyer. Needs to find an opening, and the down two from hell. Get wrecked, taking the first round, yeah. Very good stuff, man. I don't know what's going on here, but this adjustment from the Luke Hang has just been working wonders for Get Wrecked. I mean, ever since he's made the switch to win the set, kind of has been looking like a different story ever since, but right now, Bandino's locking him down with the water sprout pressure. Goes for the jump in off of the striker nades. He's gonna get a throw. Beautiful damage. It's stacking up, man. We got the Motaro schematics in the background. Does anybody want to know how to build a Motaro? Well, there you go. Flush it out, Destroyer. There's the water shield. It's absorbing. So I see projectile. people are asking who is Bandino's, and I think I saw the name. For me, I saw the name first appear in the Coliseum, so. I mean, does anybody know where this player originated from? Is he a Mortal Kombat 1 newcomer that's just godlike at the game? Oh, that could have been a whip punish and a half destroyer, but Bandino's missed the opportunity. He's going to land a throw, though. Man, Get Wrecked having a really tough time at closing the gap and breaking through this defense. Nice armor from Bandino's as well. And there it is. The down one will chip things up. Or chip things out to tie out these rounds. Well, look at that. We got some information. He actually played Gearus in Mortal Kombat 11. Oh, I didn't know. There you go. Well, now you know. So stop asking me if he's, well, who is he. Yeah, well, knowing is half the battle. Good back dashes. Uses the striker to set up that whirlpool. 
you know, oh. even without the Sub Zero cameo, Bandino's is doing such a good job at preventing Get Wreck from doing any sort of zoning or playing full screen. There's blocks there from Get Wreck, yo, Walter White, yo, Skyler White, yo. Oh, oh my punish. god, that that gun OS! You're obsessed with that duck OS, huh? Bro, because you don't understand, like, having an OS to just avoid regular throws, that's a, ma wow. that's a massive game changer, don't you think? Destroyer, Bandino, you're, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And Destroyer, Bandino takes game one. Now, usually, when we get to this grand final scenario, especially when you're on the loser's side, like, we've seen plenty of times before where the person who ends up on that winner's side takes e like either, either a quick two games takes an easy first game this right now though is actually really good for for, for bandinos immediately starting things off taking game one even on the loser side that creates a lot of that like, gives him a lot of morale you know that that definitely gives him a lot of confidence going into the rest of this set he might have an opportunity here to reset this bracket oh 100 percent. i mean caboose the second ago when we were watching bandinos versus get wrecked both of them in the winner's side it was a 2-2 game, if I'm not mistaken. Get Wrecked had oh, yeah, to get was, out of his comfort five. zone, and he had to switch over to Frostbite Liu Kang, who is 50% weaker with all the Frostbite he's got. Well, that's that's why I was gonna I was gonna ask a second ago. Um, do you think at any point that we might see Get Wrecked make a switch over? Of course, back to back to Johnny Cage. 100%. But then that's gonna leave the 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 uh, question: Will Bandinos make a cameo switch? Thing, yeah. I mean, he has the Cyrax on deck as well. He's got a couple of options here, and that's what you want to do. If you're someone like Bandino, who sticks with a character like Rain, you want to know, okay, what cameos are going to help me out in different matchups. Good down poke. This Liu Kang pressure can be so overwhelming sometimes. He has really fast frames, some really good staggers. He can get you stunned. Goes for the empty jump in. Bandino's just riding the strike grenades. Good throw. Oh my god, there's the stagger pressure from Luke Kang. He's gonna get the blocks. One forward four into fatal blow will do it, destroyer. I'm terrified. Oh, oh nicely done. Is. A striker cameo. Bandino's. Bro, Striker? You're making, you're making something work here right now. Striker will make you rethink life. I mean, everything you knew about fighting games, Netherrealm fighting games, Striker just defies it all. When you think you're safe, you're actually going to get punished if Striker pulls up. When you think it's your turn to punish somebody, no. Striker. It's Striker's turn. Look at this footsies game from both players. They're going to get some buttons pushed, but here we go. A neutral duck punish coming from Bandino's. He's looking to go up two games to zero here in the lower side. Wow. He wants to send wow. Get Right into his realm to reset the bracket. I don't know, were you talking about that earlier too? I didn't know that you can like blow up the portal to get like more chip damage. So oh, look at this combo, my goodness, Destroyer. Bandinos has an opportunity to go up 2-1. Just as I say that though, Get Right answering back, going for the Fatal Blow combo, the breaker from oh, wow. Bandinos. He does not want to lose that much life. Kind of a smart decision. I mean, has. that combo right there was looking upwards to the 50% with that scaling. Oh, he comboed that on one screen. There it is. Bandinos is up 2 0 on the loser's side. My goodness, Destroyer. This is dangerous. We might be seeing a bracket reset a lot sooner than we thought, Caboose. The only thing that's good here, if you to find a silver lining for someone like Get Wrecked, is that there's still there's going to be a bracket reset if it's a quick 3-0. It is a lot of time for Get Wrecked to try and understand this matchup, to try and adapt, and maybe hit that download button going into a fresh new set. Let's see what happens now. Is Get Wrecked going to go to Johnny, or is he going to stick with the Liu Kang? He's thinking. I think he might breather. stick with the Liu Kang and save the Johnny switch for the final set if it's if it happens because maybe he doesn't want to give too much of that Johnny sauce this early just in case he does lose. I disagree. I think now would be the time to no. make the Johnny switch. You're no. down 2-0. This could be an opportunity to shift the momentum in your favor Look, because you man, don't he, know. He, he might be you fearing. Don't... He might be fearing that Bandinos has the download on the Johnny. He's very hesitant it, to pick it, but he's going to go with it regardless. 
But if there was a time to experiment... Oh, the cameo switch on Wayne! Yeah, he did it. He can he do it. that! That is tournament legal. He is allowed to switch did, cameos. If did Get Right freak characters. out there? I don't... I hope Get Right understands that that is totally allowed. That is the tournament rules. You can switch your cameo if your opponent is switching characters. Oh my god, this might be the first time we've seen this happen. Yeah, I, I don't know if Get Wrecked is listening or not, but just, again, that is tournament He's rules. And I, and I feel like not enough people are familiar with this destroyer. That was announced from day one. And yes, for the chat, for anybody who is curious, her tournament rules, we are following, in this specific instance, we are following the official tournament rules set by Netherrealm. On win, if, you're, if your opponent switches characters, you are allowed to switch cameos. Oh, what's that? You guys don't like us following the pro comp rules? All right, so we'll make our own rules. So let's do the 95 split for the, for the <laughs> match arena. 95 to me and Caboose. Five to the players. What you think? But as I was saying, Destroyer, I mean, I feel like this is the time where you want to see what your Johnny is capable of against this range. You gotta do it now. Because if he lets this bracket reset and then goes into a new set trying to play as Johnny, he could go down a game, which would not be a great position. So my, my question like is, head. like, is the Cyrax just for the extended combos? Since he doesn't have to fear projectiles and all that stuff, is that why he goes for the Cyrax pick? Just to I'm really capitalize on that on that damage? I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is as well that he wants to use the, uh, the Cyrax cameo for this specific matchup. Yo, this guy is cooking Get Wrecked right now. I'm a little worried. Yeah, this is not looking good, Destroyer. Bandino is looking to potentially get a 3-0 to reset this bracket. There's the chip out. Reset point now for Bandino, who's just been running Yo, a clinic with tentacles. He's got water tentacles. Oh, yeah. Kind of kind of reminds Quan me of... Uh, yeah. <laughs> they definitely took that from Quan Chi. Oh, he took, uh, Quan Chi took that from him. Oh, nicely done. Quan Chi jump in there, Destroyer. Probably like your rain tentacles. Oh, flawless block the cross up attempt. Could have gotten enough block punish, but still going to get a throw into the Cyrax cameo. Oh, he's consistent with that. Okay, but wait a second now. Get Rex going to get a hit in. Oh, drops the combo. He's nervous. The nerves. The nerves. He's nervous. Oh, dropped it that time. Get Rex actually finding some hope here. Oh, he wanted the up block, just hit by the Lao Hat. I'm surprised the hit net. advantage on Lao Hat didn't give him the combo off the 2 1. I think off throw damage alone, Bandinos has done like 600% damage. And there wow. it is. Bracket reset. Wow. Wow, Caboose. It's getting serious now. We wow, got both wow, players. Wubsy. Wow, wow, Wubsy, 100%. We got both players in the lower side here. This is it. Michael Jackson, this is it. I wouldn't want it any other way. The final, grand finals for the qualifier here. Going to a bracket reset. Caboose is going crazy. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to know this. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> no, no, no. Do it again. No. Nah. What are you talking about? You know, we even got Sonic Fox in the chat saying that Rain bodies Lou and Johnny. So, I mean, what do you even do? If if that's what Sonic is saying, what do you even do if you're Get Wrecked? I should, actually, I Sonic say in the that. Chat, hold up. I say that, but Get Wrecked won the initial set that these two competitors played on the winner's finals earlier tonight. And it was this Lou Kang that helped Get Wrecked, like, pull that off. Sonic once again, pretty much doing the uh, the coaching in the corner. We're trying to for Bandinos. Here we go. Bracket is reset now. Both these competitors well, look, on even playing yo, field. If, there, if there's one player to listen to, Sonic Fox will be that one player because Sonic Fox was maining rain for oh, yeah. a fat minute. Hundred percent. Hey, hold on. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if Sonic Fox is playing the character or not. If Sonic Fox is giving you advice, you listen. Uh, Sonic Fox, you got an answer for these hemorrhoids? 
Forward four string. Get wrecked now. Oh, wait a second. The throw. It's gonna be a really good situation for get wrecked. Yo, I just realized he switched off of that Johnny quick. I don't I don't think he likes the Johnny Cage versus Rain. It might be maybe like the, the neutral game is more superior for Rain or something. I don't know what it is, but that and get wrecked is out of it. I think he just values at least having some sort of full screen, like projectiles or something to throw out there. And activate armor, it gets stopped. Cancels the overhead into the throw. Nicely done there from Bandino. Oh, they picked this stage again. That's it. I'm ending the stream. <laughs> He's gonna get the water bubble situated here. Good trade. But for another meteorite to cross and jump over. Look at that walk back, so smart from Bandino. Just get far away from that corner, play that light lead, maybe run the timer a little bit. Oh my God, you couldn't even see the overhead. This man is using the, bu the bubble to conceal his mix. Oh, and there's the low poke. Bandino ties up the round. Bubble boy? Get wrecked right now is just looking to get a game on the board, Destroyer. Okay, was able to get a combo off that. An immediate breaker there, though, from Bandinos. The tech. Watch the toilet flush. The two people in the cocky move. Back throw connects. Doesn't have weight. He got Lao at the last segment. I don't think the combo would have happened yeah. if he called uh, the teleport on Lao. Have it in time, and awesome. that is a very winning trade on the Yeah. Right he went for the meter burn projector with a bubble clear his day on the screen. Interesting decision from Get Wrecked, yo. Maybe was he expecting that the bubble was going to be gone by the time the projector reached the other side of the screen? I don't know, but there we go. Get Wrecked with a nice back throw combo. 217. Here comes again. 217 every time. That was like 42% off of both of those combos there. Off of both of <laughs> Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's got the fatal blow. He's going to go for it. I'm sure that, yeah, Garrett is going to go for the breaker. I'm actually curious to know if that connected, if it would have killed. I mean, he would have had some crazy setups at the end of that fatal blow. So oh, good decision for get right to break her. And this could be it. Is it going to be enough to oh. break her the last second? The bubble. Oh my god. He's got to keep activating those bubbles, Destroyer, because one projectile won't wow. do it. Get wrecked. This With the man, air projectile. He just backed it up, tossed the projectiles in the air, and closed it out. Get wrecked, taking game number one in the bracket reset. This is what's so tough, too, about playing in the loser side of a grand finals, is even after a 3 0 bracket reset, now Get wrecked is in the lead. Wait, Sonic says if only Bandino knew the jump cancels. Yo, oh. but share the tech! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I'm weak. Has been your Wait, Sonic says I'm personally donating 1k into the pot? If Bandinos would have done the jump cancel. Oh! <laughs> Bandinos, do the jump cancel right now! Yo, Bandinos, do the jump cancel! Yo, Bandinos, do the jump cancel and win! Do the jump! Do the jump! Bandinos, do the jump cancel! How do you do the jump cancel? How do you do the, How do you do the jump cancel? Just How do you do the match? Jump. How do you do it? Just throw the match. Bandino's the jump cancel. <laughs> Good throw. I don't think that was a jump cancel, but Get Wrecked is gonna try to do something here. Goes with the low hat. Good breaker. For the breaker from Bandino's. By the way, I think Bandino's. Wait, no. What he always? No, he switched to Zyrax. 
Oh, right. is the jump cancel? Like, the way he can cancel his overhead, can you, like, do a jump attack and cancel it on the ground? That, that'll be so deceiving if you can do stuff like that. Crazy Bandino's right now, though, with a insane life deficit. Get wrecked. Now, has all the time in his favor. He throws into the cameo combo. So, so tough to deal with. 40%, or sorry, 24%. Just like that. Watch out for the Meteors. 15 seconds with a mountain to climb. You need to just get a hit, hit, wow. hit confirm into pitiful right away if you want even a chance. Yeah, Rex takes that round. And it looks like, once again, just having the cushion of being on the winner's side of Grand Finals is paying off in spades for Get Wrecked right now. It really is. The Bandinos can bounce back in the blink of an eye. Do not fall asleep on this player. 100%. He's proven to us that he's capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in Mortal Kombat 1 right now. The breaker. Yeah, Ninja's playing after this. Just make sure you tune in to the very end. I'm going to break my monitor, guys. I swear. If you do not jump cancel, I'm going to break my monitor, I swear. Bandinos, if you don't jump cancel, I break my monitor. I will break my monitor, guys, I swear. <laughs> You're crazy. Good throw, this might be the Kung Lao Deluxe. Yes, it will be. 20% for a throw, hallelujah. Wow, that was a good setup there. Ended it with the, uh, the dragon thing and straight into a jump in. the flush. He's hitting those water bubbles. Oh, that's a whip punish. No, missed it. Oh, it's oh my God. not looking good right now for Bandino's Destroyer. Oh my God. Stagger City right now for Get Wrecked. 13 seconds on the clock. He needs a hit into Fatal. Now or never. That's going to be it. It's 2 0. -oh. Forget Wreck Destroyer. This is not looking good. I mean, Bandino just needs to calm down. Maybe go to the character select screen. Take a second and breathe. Think about it and get back into it. Bandino's. I don't think he's been put in a situation like this yet, but from like I was saying, from the play we've saw building up to this very moment, Caboose. This player can definitely make a comeback, for sure. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, Bandino's almost took this set the first time around. He got a quick and easy 3-0 against okay. Get Wrecked to reset the bracket up until this point. Clearly, Bandino's has showcased he has what it takes to beat Get Wrecked. But man, again, three games is a lot to be able to just sit there and take a beating to inevitably hit that download button. And Get Rek just kind of sitting at the character select screen. Maybe his controller died. He needs to plug in the controller to charge it. Well, this is it, Caboose. The potential final game here. Can Get Rek complete the 3-0 prophecy that was foretold by Brendan Fraser's The Whale? Can Get Rek be our final qualifier? For Champions of the Realms Destroyer. Maybe. There's a Whirlpool underground. Meteorites all over the place. Look at this patience. Okay, so he's got the striker piece, and the striker piece was actually working wonders for him the last couple matches. It was up until he switched to Johnny Cage. Uh, Bandino's just decided to stick with Cyrax, right? What was that about? Yeah, I don't know. Cyrax was clearly not working out for him though, so he switched over back to Striker. It's a huge combo yeah, there to wow. take the round. Okay, Bandino's with some signs of life. That was really juicy. Very doughy. Very crispy. One could even say that it was a little fucking. <laughs> out of control. Oop, the blocks there on the forward four. Okay, there it is. is. Sometimes you gotta challenge low hat now. It's only minus three. A lot of players still treat it like it's plus for some reason. Oh, he didn't. Did he have the, the loud cameo, or maybe he didn't want to use it because he wanted to maintain the corner? Oh, this hurts. Drop the combo though. Oh! That was some crazy stuff. Goes for that free jump in off of the striker nades. Good grab tech. You shall not pass that slam to the ground. You shall not pass! He slammed the staff and the entire screen exploded into Johnny's stools.
Oh, no. Is that going to be punished? It is. That was that disgusting. Enough, it might be. A raw fatal blow is looking to do about 350. That's going to be enough. I think he had just about 40% life. Yeah, 350 damage. Oh, no. Oh, wow. And the, the striker cameo is going to allow Bandinos to stay alive here in the set. Well, here we go. Bandinos rising from the dead. Just when you thought all hope was lost, he pulls out Striker from his pocket again. And he's going to have some uh, some fight left in him. He said, Wait, I make it. I'm terrified. I don't know how this is going to play out. Hey, did you uh, finish your invasions yet? Wow. Let me get a one in the chat if invasions is the best. Let me get a two in the chat if all you play is invasions. Let me get a three in the chat if you want them to make an, an invasions sequel for the next game. I'm all about the invasions. I don't know about you. <laughs> you like it? I hate it. I think invasion, the ever. fact that we got to grind that to get skins and all this stuff, it makes me want to feed myself to the giant armadillo in the Tarkatan colony camp. Yeah. I'm going to pull forward four strings. Sometimes it's a little risky to do that just for considering that there's a flawless block map. You know what would be crazy? Sorry to stay away no. from the match. What, they should just make a Shaolin Monks game inside of the next Mortal Kombat. I'm begging. Wake up. There it is, the water bubble. Mr. Bubbles himself is here to play. Goes for the jump in. That's some good damage, wow. man. 381. Hey, no. He's one away from putting us into a game five on the bracket reset. Whoever thought Bandinos was down and out for the count, I'm sorry, my friend. You are terribly wrong. Look, I think everyone in the in the tea house right now is just as invested as us. Look at them. Look at I that. imagine they're just a surprise about how far this set has come, Destroyer. A bracket reset, then a quick 2-0 for Get Rex. It was looking like all hope was lost. But just as we were saying that, Bandino's answered back with a game on the board. And now, seemingly, all the momentum in his favor. Yo, we go to a game five for the last qualifier. I'm going to lose my marbles. And where, they, where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna go? And Shao Kahn's mouth. I told you already. Oh, doesn't opt to go for the meter burn dragon. Got him locked down combo. here. Striker keeping an unsafe wake up safe. The throw connects. That was a Bandino throw. I'm surprised Get Right didn't know what's it. Oh, an interruption there. Oh, that could have been a whip punish. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. He's he doesn't he's have the dead. meter. I think that's it. We're going to a game five. Wait. We yeah, are no, going no, no, to a game done, five. He's done 100%. Game five for sure. Wow. Chat, this is pretty much as hype as it could be. Our final qualifier. Our final top eight. And it goes down to the wire. A bracket reset. Mm -hmm. Game five scenario. Now here's the final Dino question. And here's the final question. Does get Rex no, stick with the Liu Kang? He does not go to Johnny. Or does he switch Alan to Johnny? Here. There's no world where he switches to Johnny. I don't. It didn't work out at all. It wasn't even remotely a good pick when he tried it before when Bandino's got the 3-0. I don't think it's a good idea to go for it now. But these guys are the ones competing. I'm just yelling into the microphone. They He's can thinking do about it. it. He's thinking sleep. about it. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Is he going to do it? Is Get Rek gonna make the switch to Johnny? Make it the switch. That's for Johnny before. Cage is top two in Mortal Kombat. Make the switch. He does it. He hears the stream. Bandinos is gonna go with Cyrax on this. Wait, why not Sub Zero? Why Cyrax for this team? No, 
I know. Oh my god. He's gonna actually make the cameo switch again. This has kind of been the counter war between both of these players, Bofa. And this is it. The final moment is about to choose who is our final top eight qualifier for the finale. How much money is on the line, Caboose? Five thousand million dollars. Yeah. And Sonic Fox said that they're gonna donate three million dollars. <laughs> I have the chat lock. Sonic Fox said, if you twerk for us right now. They're gonna put money into the pot. Do it right now. Push the camera. Forget this match. This is huge, Destroyer. The intensity, it's so real. It really is. Good heck, my goodness. Both these competitors. On top of their game. Oh, he catches the overhead. Breaker immediately from Bantino. Good down poke. Goes for the throw with the grab tech. Get right is locked in right now. Goes for the jump in. No confirmed. Was he trying to get him off of a breaker? Oh, Whoa. he lands the right side that way. Oh, that side. Oh. Finally. 17 seconds on the clock, Destroyer. Get wrecked. Needs a hit confirm. He needs it now. Oh, he's just gonna go for it. He's got a dash he's cancel. Dancing. He's dancing on him. Oh, he dash cancel. The throw is not gonna be enough. Destroyer. One, zero. And there it is. Wow. It's tournament Match point, point for Bandinos. Match point for Antonio Bandinos. Here we go, chat. Oh and my goodness. He found an opening. Antonio Bandinos puts a water on the screen with the Cyrax helicopter, helicopter. Water is everywhere right now. This dude's got a water bottle behind him, a water bottle in front of him. He's got a water, a water bubble on top of him. He's got a water whirlpool under him. Like, come on. Too much water on the screen. I'm drowning watching this set. Throw their destroyer. Bandito's actually gonna send get wrecked into the corner and get the Cyrax cameo out. She drops the combo, but finds a follow up. This could spell the end. This could be she it. The and there it she is. Bandito's qualifies. He's gonna make it into the finale, and the winter fatality is activated. I mean, yo, no Rampage. better finisher than this one because after this, we are gonna be taking a little Christmas break up until the finale. So big shout outs to Shao Kahn with the. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! My goodness, Destroyer. What a grand finals. You love to see it. A bracket reset. He was down 2-0. It was looking like it was going to be Get Rex set to take, but he battles back, fights back, tears through, switching cameos left and right. But Rain saves the day I mean, and defeats the Johnny Cage. Look at the final moments here. Look at the damage he nets with Cyrax. Calls the Cyrax, gets the combo extension, and we're looking at a dropped 360 on the money. Unbelievable stuff. Congratulations to Bandinos being crowned the final champion for the last qualifier wow. that was no easy bracket to complete there wow big shout out to bandinos for fulfilling the prophecy and becoming squirtle oh right no seriously though destroyer that was an unbelievable top eight i couldn't be more hyped for this finale now i need to see the match arena what are we looking at at the match arena let me just double check exclamation point match arena in the chat so if we look over there, yes, we are at $5,100 for our prize pool. Thank you to each and every one of you guys who have contributed. You are incredible. We are going to take a break for Christmas, for the holidays. We hope everybody's going to be able to enjoy some time with their family. But on December 29th, the top eight finale. It's going down. $5,100 is going down. going down. Real quick. This guy's channel. Let me go ahead and open up the uh, list of players that made it into the finale so far that way everybody's on par we're gonna get graphics and everything made so it's gonna be a big deal for these players but i mean look at this we got han rashid and in no no order because i don't even know who won what but in no yeah, yeah. order we have han rashid we have just nasty we have the mighty unjust 
We have Pulse. We have Rewind. Ninja Killer. Tweety. And now Bandinos. And real quick, Man. just to go over a prediction of what kind of characters we will see. I feel like we'll be seeing uh, Havoc from Han Rashid or the other character he played. I forgot. I think it was Johnny and Havoc. I could be wrong, though. Or maybe Johnny and or Havoc and Kenshi. But Han Rashid will be pr probably playing one of those characters. Just Nasty will probably be coming through with a smoke. smoke. We got Mighty Unjust, who's been going ham with Kenshi recently. We might be seeing Kenshi from the Mighty Unjust. We got Rewind Pulse. with the Reiko. Rewind with the Reiko. We got Pulse with the Johnny Cage. Ninja Killer with the whole roster. Tweety with the Baraka. <laughs> And now we got Bandinos with the rain. Caboose, that character diversity is huge. I love it. I love it. Huge. Yeah, incredible stuff. I mean, you're, you're not just going to see a sea of Johnny Cages no. in that top eight and, finale. And There's what's a crazy lot of about characters. it, bro, is all of those players were put to the test, Caboose. Every single one of those names you just heard had to go through exactly what Bandinos yeah. had to go through. Maybe a little easier, maybe a little harder. We don't know, but the at the end of the day, every winner in the top eight finale on the 29th has won an entire COTR tournament. And and the thing is, too, there With are plenty players. of them. There are plenty of them that did the same thing Bandinos did tonight. Reset the bracket and then battle through to win two sets in the grand finals. So that's why this top eight, this finale is going to be just insanity. I cannot wait. Crazy. To it's going to be I just nasty. And I hope, I hope Sonic Fox, if you're still watching, come on, please sign up for season two. Sign up for one of the weeks in season two. two. Please. Come on, Sonic. Please. Come on. Come on. But hey, thank you everybody for tuning in tonight. This has been an incredible top eight. We can't wait to see you guys on December 29th over on Destroyer's channel for the finale. Thank you to Destroyer, my co-commentator. Shout out to Taro Temptress. Shout out to every single one of you guys tuning in for all eight weeks of this competition. It's been insane. I've been having a blast commentating this game, and I can't wait for this finale. We'll talk about season two and all that stuff when it's time, when we're ready. But until then, we still got a finale to get through. I'm going to hit you up to try to do an arena in the weekend. 100%. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you guys for the finale. Happy holidays. Enjoy some time with your with your family and everything. But until then, I've been Caboose. That's Destroyer. Peace out. Hey, just coming back to let you guys know, if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor, slap that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, we live stream on Twitch just about every day, so come and say hi.